and welcome back to MG Global Muscle Radio here at the Pop Media Studios with me, your host, Giles Thomas, joined by my co-host, AJ, all the way from Norway. Let's go. Take five. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, AJ. <laughs> Choking it took it. so long with the intro that I didn't know what the hell was going on. I've never even needed a second take and it just took me, f- how many was that, four or five? Four or five. Uh, why is that? Good episode last time. Oh, oh Sarah Villegas. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who else no, was v- there? Viegas. Who else was there? V- oh my God, there's so many. There were so many. I, I can't said, even I, remember. Yeah, there was like Tony Doherty. Tony Doherty, Sarah Viegas, uh, Patrick Moore. Uh, oh, I'll check the episode. Um, episode <laughs> I, I was 37, because yeah. Filthy, filthy was 33, 36, 37. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of guests, AJ. Ah, oh, but there's a lot of g- good things happening about the building world now. There's a lot of good there's things lot that's lot going on. Because, I mean, it has been a bit of a tumultuous, is that a word? Tumultuous? Brandon Curry being epic Mr. Olympic champion. <laughs> yes. Phil Heath, our good friend. I would like to see announcement soon on if he's competing again. Well, ever not. again. Or, yeah, or 2020 Olympia well, or it's Arnold. Well, would you like to see it soon or what? Do you, what's your opinion? I, ha- I, I try and, I mean, I speak to Phil most days, but I try not to ask that question. Mm. But all I know is I spoke to Bob Lorimer, yeah. uh, one of the organizers of the Jim Lorimer Sun, who won the organizers of the Arnold Classic, obviously the second biggest bodybuilding show in the world. And we were queuing up to go into the evening finals, myself, Steve Blackman, Ron Harris. And we spoke to Bob and Bob said, um, I've definitely got Sean Roden and Big Rami signed up for the Arnold Classic. Sean Roden and Big Rami are signed up. Yes, the big f- news. Flexitron is yeah. coming and back. And also, Steve Kuklo is definitely doing it. Um, um, did Patrick Moore say he's doing it? Yeah. He did. So we got Patrick Moore. I'm sure there's somebody else. I'm sure there's somebody else. Big, bad Sergio Oliva ah, Jr. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sergio Oliva, yeah, who said he wants, uh, he's going to win the best pose reward as well. Mm. And um, See about that, because uh, Patrick Moore can pose, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick Moore and Sergio. Mm. Plus, oh, Josh Donatowicz might be doing Plus, it. Plus, this is not open, but Vesla Vissers is coming back to shock Arnold Schwarzenegger's long lost oh, is son. He, is he doing the Arnold? He's doing the guy. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Vesla Vissers, man. Oh, fantastic. But I think Arnold will take a double take when he sees him. But anyway, so, um, uh, yes, and he said, we are working on Phil Heath. But I have asked Phil, and he, he, he kind of said about um, he doesn't like dieting in the holidays. Phil. Yeah. But you know what, Philly? But it's been a while since he's competed, then, so he'll be fresh and ready, even though yeah, he has to diet in the yeah. office. I mean, when, he, when we did the tour last summer, I mean, he was in good nick. He looked Oh, well. Phil Heath, man. Remember, I was looking at his forearms, getting excited in the car? <laughs> you were rubbing them. I was rubbing them. What? <laughs> Do you know, actually, a funny, funny, this is a funny oh, story. Oh, Phil Heath, imagine I told- looking like Phil Heath, man. AJ, you get a lot of girls. I haven't told you this because I think you were asleep in the back of the car. Mm, no, I never slept back in the car. That's impossible. Well, you were trolling on, yeah, the, yeah, probably yeah. on Instagram yeah. or something, talk DMing. I'm a celebrity now, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and um, and I, there was a bottle of water on the floor, yeah. and I, and I went to reach for it, and I think Phil was kind of like sleeping and stuff like that, and he mumbled something about the Me Too campaign, because he said, "Oh, Charlie, Me Too campaign," like that. And I was thinking, is he asleep or is he actually awake? But no, because I went to I, I, a bottle, bottle, I didn't want to wake him and go because I had to kind of like reach. Me too campaign. What a ca- pussy boy campaign. AJ I had to kind of reach down, but I, I wasn't trying to grope his leg. <laughs> I mean, or his, or his like get a feel of his calf. But um, yeah, yeah, it was a funny moment. No, uh, bit not of a re- to, bit not, of a relevant story. Not though, to make but. fun of it. It is a Me Too campaign. One thing, it's there's a lot of perverts amongst in the fitness industry. Oh um, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> if it, we maybe we need that campaign, maybe in this in this industry more than any other industry. Oh. I was we're like Hollywood, <laughs> but worse, aren't we? I think the industry would finish. <laughs> Gone. It's only us left. <laughs> just, just me, just yeah. <laughs> just Giles trolling just, with female bodybuilders. Giles the eunuch, you know, living, uh, living Alina, by himself with his cats. Alina Popo, you were impressed, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Speaking of me too, campaign. Uh, <laughs> What's Chris doing? What's Chris doing? Fixing his cats. He's filming himself. Are you filming yourself, Chris? He's, no, I've, I've, I've got a camera now. He's trying to get in on the celebrity action, AJ. He's trying to do I've a Joe Rogan here. I've got a camera. You've always told me to have a camera. I've now got a camera. No, because um, you modelled this whole setup, didn't you, after Joe Rogan? Because these are the same microphones that Joe Rogan... I know you don't listen to Joe Rogan. Uh, Alina Popper looked very good in the interview. I'm not yeah, interested in go, Joe go, Rogan. Anyway, so go, Joe go, Rogan has a four-camera setup. That's my go, point. Go back go back to your topics, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Alina Popper. Oh, She's going to be on the a, show today. What a beautiful, classy lady. I've never really spoke to her. I've always, I've always, liked, always liked her physique, um, but I was very... 
Yeah, she's she's love. I'm really looking forward to meeting her. And why are we speaking about oh, well, not a lot of games, but because we have Romania Pro in two weeks. Yes, we do, AJ. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah. Regan. How do you say his last name? Grimes Regan or Grimes? Regan Grimes. Who? Ah, Grimes. That's a cool name, isn't it? One R- of the biggest R- celebrities R- yeah. in the fitness bodybuilding world. His Instagram is really popping. Don't know what I'm talking he about. He used to Sorry. compete in Open, then he went to the Classic. Yeah, it didn't work for me in Classic. Did not work out no, at no, all. No, no, no. He needs to be. He needs to be in Open because I remember seeing him at the 2017 Tampa. I was there, and uh, he just need, his legs were huge, but he just needed a bit more condition and a bit more thickness in upper body because he's only like he's only late 20s, isn't he? 28. Uh, late 26, actually, maybe younger. No, no, no. He was 26 in 2017, so it's two years on now. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, okay. So he's late 20s. <laughs> yeah, he's like 27, 28, yeah. whatever. But anyway, he's under 30. Mm. So um, I remember thinking, oh, this kid, another couple of years, he's going to be so good. Just needed a few tweaks and a bit of maturity, a bit of balance. But then he did classic. I was like, oh, no. He's going to... Well, not, oh, no. But for me, he's not... He's not really... I just think he was too and, big. And uh, I think uh, the most... Uh, a person who got a lot of hype, to say the least, Cody Montgomery, back in the day, is coming, is returning. Mm-hmm. Beat your friend, Tony. That's just sorry. I'm just <laughs> that was just a troll decision. That's, that's age, age Chris, that, was, Chris. that was that was that little. Uh, There's a guy, little uh, not a little guy, but he's a good bodybuilder. But he beat like his hero, ah, come Tony on. Freeman. That's like yeah, oh. Chris beating me in the uh, arm wrestling. What's this? What's this? <laughs> what? what are you doing? <laughs> he beat Tony Freeman. What the? What was? I, lo- I threw the computer. I actually broke my computer that day. I had Did a little- you? That was before I was before I had a Mac. AJ, I, I had a little computer shift th- like one, this. One <laughs> and I threw it. One thing I don't think we could ever not accuse you of is not being passionate. Oh, Tony Freeman, what a man! What the 2014 uh, Arnold uh, Brazil. Chris, can you just write Tony Freeman on Google? Have them back so people can see how good Tony Freeman used to look. And write Tony Freeman sexy. <laughs> That's what I... Tony Freeman's uh, Look at Google now before we talk about... And the then f- put Giles Thomas sexy in. Yeah, you see can what, do that too. See what, see what comes up. <laughs> the one picture that's... Uh, be a can of dog food or something. <laughs> Tony Freeman, sexy. <laughs> sexy. <laughs> and you press images. There's a lot of oh. Tony Freeman. Sexy. Yeah, but I'm going to find the picture I always use. Yeah, but AJ, they've all been posted by you. Image, under that, and then under you that go that down, plank. you go down slowly. He's not listening, he's not no, listening. not listening. I'm watching Tony Freeman while I listen to Giles talk then. <laughs> and then you go down, you wrote something wrong because there's not enough Tony Freeman pictures there. Yeah. It's when it was his blue pants. Uh, yeah, I know the photo you're on. You know the photo I'm talking about. Of course I do, about. AJ. It was like your screensaver on your phone for about 10 years. Uh, Tony Freeman, uh, blue pants. Oh, blue pants. Blue pants. Maybe. Blue uh, pants. Oh, there's some blue pants there. Uh, where is uh, it with the blue pants? Oh, to, to the right. Go to the right. Right. That, there. Press uh, that one. That's blue shorts. Oh, yeah. But that's the. Yeah. Guys, for people at home, can you imagine walking like that to the gym? With a little poodle. Cody beat him. Cody beat him. Ah, don't want to talk yeah. about it. Yeah. So, Cody, Cody, uh, congratulations, new new kid. I think he didn't he get a. I think it was he took a break off because he, he had a, his wife had a child. Okay. So he needs to refocus. Well, he's only young, isn't he? He's got great physique. Great physique. So he's coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else is down in Romania? Natalia Mosonka. Yeah. Well, that's that's her Instagram name, isn't it? I don't know what her real name. It's like a, a it's a Russian name I can't pronounce, and mm. I haven't got it in front of me. Apologies. Mm. But um, yeah, he uh, she's yeah. I'd be interested to see if she can get condition and really bring because you see the photos and you just think, oh my god, she's like a she's she doesn't even look real because she's so big. You know, in the photos, and you just think, is that going to translate? I blame Lee Thompson for that scandal, by the way. Lee Thompson. Uh, AJ, I was actually trying to um, stop uh, him. What, when about, see what him. about the 2014 uh, screw job? Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound oh, it makes. It was a screw job. Oh my God. It was a screw job. Oh. Uh, speaking of people, since we're always listening to I our. I feel like we're a bit chaotic today. Yeah, we're but a bit that's, all over the place. That's good. Sometimes it's the energy from Alina. Yes. Uh, we had some qu- people at home saying about the prize money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, because I, I let me see if she's this was on the this was on the forum on the MD Muscular Development Forum, and someone put it on our YouTube comments on uh, our last episode of uh, Global Muscle. No, actually, two episodes ago of Global Muscle Radio, episode thirty-seven, and someone said, "I think it's a disgrace that." 6th to 10th or 7th to 10th at the Olympia in the open men's do not make any prize money and I was like that cut because they were saying that that's why they've increased the the female prize money and like the bikini winners now getting 50 and the the 212 has gone from 40 to 50 first place and then they were saying that um, it's bad and I was like I'm sure I'm just like Steve Cook look at 6th place at the Olympia and doesn't make any prize money I'm sure that's not right so what did you do AJ? I texted them 
best AMI uh, boss lady in the world, Angelica Nebbia. Love ya. And asked. Uh-huh. And she said, what, Giles? She said, um, it's total um, rubbish. Pure t- rubbish. <laughs> it's like absolute, absolute nonsense. Mm. She said, no, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I, you read it out. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah. Basically, she said along the lines of, like, that's absolute rubbish. They did make prize money. And um, the to- all the top 10 get decent. Because I think the Olympia... You, if you're sixth place or seventh place in Olympia, that's even that's always going to be more than winning like a, a second level or third level tier, a tier, tier mm. pro show. So like I don't, I, you're going to be winning twenty, thirty grand or whatever if you're sixth, seventh Olympia, and that's how it will always be. So who, I don't know where this information has come from or how it's out there, but we want to set the record straight. Also, before we forget, I loved that episode two weeks ago with Brandon Curry celebration interview. Bro. Oh, what? I think I watched it at least four times already. <laughs> that was fantastic. That man. was a good one, wasn't it? That was like, I mean, did we do our, I think we did our intro for one of the episodes literally minutes after because we were on such a buzz, didn't we? Who's going to win, Phil Heath or Brandon Curry 2020? It's only two men left. Oh, God. You can't do that to me, AJ. Phil comes back. Brandon makes the improvements. Oh, God, that would be good. That'd be good. What do you think? I don't want to say because I don't want people to <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. And uh, also, uh, obviously, we've got Brandon on the uh, the bigger and better. Yeah, talking about that, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, the, the Brandon Curry Pro Tour. Because yeah. we did Phil Heath in the summer, eight-day tour. It was uh, absolutely fantastic. <sighs> was that the, that was the best part of the Who summer? Who was the g- best people in the audience you saw that touched you the most? Oh, uh, who touched me? Only one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, Touch me, kiss me. I don't know. I, I want to no, feel I, your body. Hang on a minute. No, that was the um, was it Shiraz? No, no, no. The, ah, come the, on, he irritated no, the hell out of me. No, the guy with um, the mental disabled guy. No, the um, no, he's physically. He's got terrible. It has to be mentally too. No, he the was gu- annoying as f. No, the guy um, and he's probably watching. The guy that well, um, you know, the guy with the the, the Zangief beard. And he was just like, I, oh, oh the yeah. Guy cried a little and then almost. when Phil started crying, and then yeah. I, I started, because you know what I'm like, Phil makes me cry every single time I talk to him. But uh, he does. Do you know what it is, though? Because he was the first guest on Globe Muscle Radio. And then we had him on a second time. You've been smoking. But he, he just, he always, I don't know whether he does it, I don't think he does it. Obviously, he's not doing it deliberately to me, but he always finds something that resonates with me big time. Mm. And he, he knows how to trigger me a little bit. And um, maybe I just need to up my vitamin T. You're dead. Pastoron, you juice uh, that. I T R T, I T R T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you call it. No, so he got touched the most. The guy with the beard. Yeah, because I could just see, like, he was literally for the full. What was it? Two hours. For, Didn't the you sign the book with your autograph or something? Also, <laughs> something like that. No, somebody, one of them, one of our viewers, not fans. Mm-hmm. Hey, Chris, Chris, Chris. AJ was in the car on the way in, and he says, uh, "I said uh, he was. He was talking about someone DM, and he says, oh, it's just one of our fans.' I went, fans." I said, oh, so they've, when did they stop becoming viewers and they become fans, AJ? He's like, well, well I'm a celebrity now. <laughs> so, yeah, so what do you say to that? Viewers, uh, viewers or fans? You decide. When it comes to you, the fans, the fans of me out there, I love you guys. <laughs> no, but, what I, for, but for people at home, they can always DM me, answer all. Have you seen I dance to everyone night and day? AJ, that's what I did at Olympia. Can you imagine how many DMs I was getting at the Olympia? I answered every... And anyone who's welcome to... If anyone could prove that I didn't, please well, I think, uh, mention ba- on the YouTube ba- comments. Based on his followers, he probably had five or six, AJ. Oh! If you put you two Instagrams, combine them, <laughs> you would still be lower than me. And I created mine in January. Don't you worry about that. So you were very popular with the DMs. No, who touched me the most at our tour was the lovely female bodybuilder. That was her man. I wanted to leave her man for me. Who? Oh, God. The- <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you, do you want to say where? Or? She had great glutes. Birmingham? Nice skin. Birmingham? Good muscle size. Oh, the one that... It, uh, in- it's freaky. The, one that- the black woman. It's- from Brazil. We don't want to say that because her boyfriend might be watching. One plus two? <laughs> uh, no. Yes. Uh, Nelly oh. Minaj. <laughs> true. Well, okay. that's, what he, that's apparently what he said. Girl, you know, it's true. <laughs> uh, what are we talk about? We had a lot of things uh, to... Uh, let's talk have... about the 212 Olympia. Because we didn't... We didn't really talk about we're it. We're way over Olympia. We talked about the open class two weeks ago. Yeah, we didn't really touch on and the And we didn't touch 212. Fit, uh, just quick. Fitness, it was a... <gasps> I had Missy Farrell winning. I'm sorry. She was fantastic. 
Whitney Jones, congratulations, but had Missy Farrell winning for Seek Round and the pulsing and the routine round. Yeah, Come on now. Yeah, I mean, like, to me, her routine stood out oh. a mile, a mile, a mile. Fantastic routine. No, for like, Seek, amazing. She was. She looked beautiful. She looked why amazing. did she lose? Why did she lose? Well, she was fourth the year before, moved up to second. I, yeah, I, because I, I didn't really pay attention to the physique round because I think I was. I you was were doing, very busy. I was, no, you I, I was interviewing or. Um, Talking to my fans. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you're busy at these events. You're doing yeah. interviews and you're talking to people. And, you you know, I wasn't really focusing what was on stage. So I didn't really see... I think I was trying to sort our seat out, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't really, you know, you're rushing around. There's a lot going on. So I couldn't, I couldn't really focus on it. But, um, yeah, so... And, and I mean, she has got an amazing physique. Absolutely beautiful look. Uh, we saw all the pictures. That quarter turn, everything looks amazing. Oh. But, um, yeah, routine was... Re- it, that's the one that I can remember. And not just because we love... Mi- no, no. Like this, Mark Aguilar's just, routine was good too. Not just a remember, but the one that stuck in my mind. You, you remember Marta Aguilar, the Marta Latin American? Marta what? Marta Aguilar, 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 the Spanish one. Uh, nope. Marta, you don't know who it is? No. Sorry. You were at the Olympia, you didn't watch it. Well, I was there, but you know, I see a lot of competitors, so, AJ. You sound like when we asked Sean Ray, who was Quentin Araya, he couldn't even... <laughs> oh, sorry, I only watch the legends. Legends, yes. That's one thing we want to call out for people in industry. If you get paid yeah. to be an expert, and you're a, doesn't matter where you are, who you are, for God's sake, knows who's who's competing, bro. Well, AJ, you don't watch a football game. You don't know who David, who who, 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 who uh, Raheem Sterling is. In fairness to you, like I'm a I'm a bodybuilding fan, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty big, pretty uh, major, you see, <laughs> bit of a rain man of bodybuilding, bit, yeah. But you, you in the last sort of, what was it, nine, ten months we've been doing the show, you were the one that really got on my case and really made me see the value and the importance of, like, we all joke about my interest in men's physique, and, but, but I, I do follow it now. I do I follow, and that's because of you, AJ. Mm, good, Seriously, good. that's because of you. Yeah. And, I, and now I'm like, actually, yeah, you're right. I should follow fitness. I should follow bikini. I should follow figure. And to. real to really, like, now it's like I know who the top people are in all the categories. Maybe not when men's, yeah, men's physique even, yeah. I do, mm. yeah, I do, yeah. I find, yeah. Um, but um, and I know, yeah, I, I, I and I, yeah, I, I'm more interested than I was, and I, I see it now, like you say, like you're, you're, you're pointing to. Mm. I see it as part of my job, my job. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, no, I'm not cool. super interested in fitness class. Plus, I'm not fitness is not my class. Yeah, but I really have to study it and and learn it because I don't understand the judging of fitness. Yeah, yeah. How yeah, yeah. time would I, it? I enjoy it. I enjoy watching. It's kind of like that's why they always. It's, um, I mean, you think about like comparing fitness to say figure. Figure is fantastic, but like I said to Chris earlier, it is pretty much just quarter turns. Mm, mm. So what, what's going to be more exciting to watch at an evening show? Someone doing that, turning 90 degrees four times, or someone jumping around doing no-handed backflips and theme routines. Why routine. did Missy win then? I know, I wish she'd won, yeah, yeah. So anyway, can we talk about the 212? 212. 212, that's a big class. Also, the prize money went from the first prize <laughs> went from because I've always had a bit of a problem it's with pocket money. It's not the big puff daddy money. We got the open that wins four hundred k for first, and then the two twelve forty ten percent. Not even enough to pay for your stack, <laughs> but it has moved from forty to fifty. And I, I still think I really, really would love to see the the winner of the two twelve Olympia get a hundred. Okay. Also, um, everything yeah. has to go up. Up, yeah, up, yeah. up. So anyway, the um, yeah, the two twelve was fantastic. At the judging, it was very exciting. And did you see my interview with Sean Clarida? The one where I went to see him on the Wednesday. Me and Hector before the show. Yeah, me and Hector drove to his uh, apartments or whatever, and we did. And he was. A f- I, I love interviewing Sean. He's such a great person to interview. And I interviewed him also at the arena uh, the next day. And he was like, he was 160 pounds uh, weigh in the year before. And he's like, he was saying even when we had him on Globe Moss, he goes, I'm going to be a full 10 pounds heavier. And I'm like, 10 pounds heavier on a frame that People size. People troll a lot when they say that. I honestly thought he was bullshitting. <laughs> I was like, oh, good. I was like, yeah, you can see it. Even watch, watch go back and watch. I'm going, <laughs> yeah, okay. You can see it in my face because I can't hide my... My reaction. Jaws you know? is the worst uh, faker when it comes to uh, hiding your feelings. Remember that guy we met at the at Lean Kitchen there? Mm-hmm. Uh, you, 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 <laughs> that guy, you were like, yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> So, well, I mean, that, I, I, can't, I can't fake my... You can fake your orgasms. I, I can fake those. Have you ever faked an orgasm, by I the way? I just fake one now. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Girls had, uh, acted like you came just to stop because it's so bad. Chucked a glass of milk over her. <laughs> 
in the dark. <laughs> yeah, I always have a. I always have a tub of cottage cheese handy. Because she had that, uh, what's it called? Uh, the smell of fish? No, what was that? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, back to the show. Uh, what were we talking about? Shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> I'll have the sea of shrimp, please. I have the sea of... Oh. Stop, stop. I know you're watching, Phil. Oh, okay. What were we talking about? I have no idea. At 212. Yeah, anyway, so, yeah, sure, Clara just said that, and... Um, and, and he weighed in at 172. But when I saw him, I was thinking, he said, oh, I'm going to be, this was the day before. And he says, I'm weighing in tonight. He said, I am going to, I was like, oh, mate, mm. I was thinking his condition, his aesthetics. His, and then he was, we, after the interview, he showed me some photos on his phone like that. And I went, whoa. And he says, that's no tan, that's no pump. That's completely flat, decarbed. I was like, mate, I says, you can, your glutes, yeah. I says, I said, if you're looking like that before you fill out, put, you put your pump up and tap, I says, you're going to look even tighter than you did last year. Mm. So when he came out and I was thinking, oh, please let the midsection be okay. Because when these guys sometimes put a lot of muscle on, you know, guys with frames. It didn't outside. happen to Brandon Curry. Yes. No, uh, and um, I was so impressed. And when he came out and then uh, Kamal came out and Kamal stayed quiet all year. I went to see him last year and he says, my prep starts in January, Giles. He says, my, my goal is to win the Olympia, then retire. So like, and I, I kind of, he, he kind of went very quiet. He didn't post many pictures. Um, Derek Lunsford came out. He was a lot bigger. Mm. He was a lot bigger. His front or bicep, there was a lot more size going on, but it was clear that he hadn't, he hadn't brought the condition that probably would have won it quite easily for mm. him. Mm. Very easily for mm. him. Because he's, he's, he is, I mean, he by, it was like when you used to see Jay Cutler next to the other guys. He was so much bigger and wider and like a kind of little 212 Jay Cutler. So anyway, um, I was sat next to George Farah and Dennis James. And it was obvious that the top two were um, Kamal, uh, Kamal and, um, and Sean Clarida. So, and then uh, Derek is like a solid third. I was like, this top three, it's very exciting, you know? Is it Clarida or Clarida? Clarida. Sean Clarida. I'm sure it's Sean Clarida. Okay. I, I love Sean. He's awesome. And um, yeah, so it was like really exciting. So I said to Dennis, I said, because Dennis was like doing like Instagram live. Dennis James. I said, Dennis, who you got? And he goes, I got Clarida winning. Clarida or whatever. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. I says, uh, George, who have you got? And he went, and he was filming as well. And he went, uh, I've got Kamal winning. He said, mm. and then they both said, who you got? And I went, oh, I literally can't decide. So, and then the night show, um, I, I don't know how Derek Lunsford did it in eight hours. Amazing. It was like what uh, Rami did the oh, year that before. Was very good. In sync. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. In sync. In sync. That's NSYNC. a boy band. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. What's that? My son crazy. Okay, anyway. anyway. Yeah, Rami did the year before where you're like, whoa, it's like like dramatic, dramatic, drastic change. And that was in 24 hours. Lunsford, Derek Lunsford did that in eight hours. So I was, if you look on the play-by-play, -play, I was like, I said, shit. I said, I know they like Derek. I said, I know that he's, you know, he's, he's got the kind of whatever. He did very well last year. Mm. Um, so I thought, um, are they going to give it to him? Are they going to give it to him based Seems upon how much he improved? I, I was also based upon last year. When he got second over Kamal, where yeah, Kamal yeah. could uh, beat him, correct? Yes. No, I've, I, I definitely had Kamal second last year. Yeah. But, so, um, but yeah, so and I was thinking, Shh, he's got a better structure than Kamal. He's kind of more, there's more kind of sort of, uh, when he lifts his arms up, there's more. Because Kamal's, you know, he's very, but the thing is, Kamal's got that really, really amazing midsection, very tight. Mm. And everything's really kind of, the eyes are really drawn, they're really flat, you know, shredded. And his condition was incredible. Posing was fantastic. So it really made that night show for the 212 really exciting. Mm. I was thinking, okay, the judging, it was a two-man race. It was literally a uh, toss of a coin between Clarida and um, and Kamal. I was thinking- On Friday. Yeah, on the Friday. On the Saturday, Derek, re no, this is only one day. Yeah, yeah, Friday. Anyway, sorry, oh, it was only one correct. day, eight hours later. Do you like that, Do you like that platform? It was good. Yeah, and I like to see the um the two well the two twelves are on the main stage. But you like it on Friday, not Friday, Saturday? Yeah, yeah. Well the guys seem to like it as okay, well. Okay. I liked it. And Kamal kinda looked the same, Clarida kinda looked the same, but Derek really pulled ahead. I don't know what he did in eight hours. But um so it made it a real three man race there, you know? So um so yeah, and obviously like Kamal, good friend of mine, I was so, so happy when he won. I was you were so, happy. Oh, yeah. Well I went down to um <laughs> I told you didn't I right to see him the other week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. um I had that phone call from an ex ex. <laughs> Completely put me on a downer. <laughs> Completely put so me on a downer. So when an ex girlfriend calls you This is talks... one of like fifteen years ago. So when she calls you and talk bullshit, Giles to get more excited goes and drives to see Kamal. Well she was she was drunk at two o'clock in the afternoon and she just wanted to have a go at me for something. She from wanted years some Kamal loving. So basically, I'm just like, I come home from the gym and I does a great workout. And I'm thinking, 
Oh, I'm on a right downer now. So I said, so I rang Kamal. I said, Kamal, I said, what are you doing, mate? And he says, well, I'm just, um, I'm in Birmingham for my son's soccer event. Mm. He said, I'll be home at three, I'll throw him at four o'clock. And I said, mate, because he only lives like two and a half hours away. Mm. And I thought, he's just won the Olympia. And and I want to, like, so my, basically myself and Flex Lewis have been talking because we want to see Kamal get the most Mm. out of this next year. Mm. Come on. As the Olympia 212 champion, you know, and he, he's not going to retire. And you know, he's also going to do an open show. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, so he's um, he was showing us pictures of him, him because he was about 2-0. I don't know how this works. He was about 2-0. Who got placed higher? Jose or Flex Lewis in open? They both did open. Who placed highest? Flo, Flex, because this is the rain man, guys. Yeah, look so. look uh, at my uh, fake uh, napkin that Chris... <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. Jose, Jose, Jose came third at the Ferrigno. Oh, do you know? Did you know that the Legion show is actually the Ferrigno show rebranded? Uh, they needed uh, uh, Big Lou. Did you know? I that? love you so much, but you needed help. Okay. Well, mm. that's Chris Mins now. I actually met Chris at the competitor meeting. Really great guy. I've talked. How long I've talked? How long have I talked? Well, that's about why him? I went and said hello to him, AJ. Yeah, that's a thank good thank you, AJ. I'll Chris Hems, Flex okay. Lewis, Jose. Who, who, who was the highest? Uh, well, I actually saw. The two shows that Flex Lewis did as an open. He beat Tony Freeman. Oh, oh Tony was way off. No, He'd been never. Eating, Tony had been in Spain all week and he said he was just eating in TGI's yeah, all day. Friend, you're God like Freeman. You can oh, eat whatever no, you want. No, no, Tony was way off. Tony was way off. Freeman Tony is got, the legend of legends. Come on, Everybody Richard. knows Tony to Freeman. Tony Freeman was fifth. Robert Piotrkowicz was fourth. This Polish was, legend. This was the 2011 Mr. Europe. Polska power. AJ, listen. This is, um, and uh, Ronnie Raquel won it. Uh, Roly Winkler was second. Flex Lewis was third. He was the best condition, though, mm. uh, certainly from the back. Told the free man. Uh, Robert Piotrkowicz, the Polish, very good Polish open Power. bodybuilder. Uh, and Tony Freeman was fifth. Polish and, uh, I people. Think, I think Issa was, Issa was sixth. And uh, Alvin Small was ninth. Polish people are very tough, by the way. Very strong. Are you not impressed by my... I'm trying to show yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Open class. Okay, 212. Who else impressed you in the I'm 212? Showing off to my fans. <laughs> 212 <laughs> class. Right. Who uh, else impressed uh, uh, you? Uh, sorry, so, so Flex Lewis came third in that, and then Flex Lewis did the first Arnold Classic outside of America. That was the Arnold Europe in Madrid, 2011, and he took fourth place there uh, in the Open, and that was when uh, Victor Martinez won. Dexter was second. Victor second, and I think Hide was third. I think Hide beat Flex. No. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, he did. Hide yeah. Yamagishi. AJ, 2012 Dallas I went to, Hide, yeah, yeah. Beat, Hide beat Roly. Yeah, but that was back in the day. Roly was good then. That's 12. That's Generation Iron 1 am era. I, am I pulling a Kai Green? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> no, anyway, that was when Sean Roden uh, won. Get your cardboard Sean outfit out. So right, come off it, bro. And let's that talk when, dancing. That was, <laughs> that was, uh, tell. That was. Um, oh, now you're going too far. That was, uh, sorry, what's that? Yeah, that was Sean Roden. That was when he'd stepped up. That was when he was starting to really, like, because he'd been 11th in the Olympia and then he, well, he got third Olympia that year. Mm. But Rowley was second um, and uh, Hide was third. Sorry, anyway, what was I talking about? 212, who else impressed in 212 class at this oh, Olympia? Sorry, you were saying Jose or I think they both had third places in open. That's, sorry, that's the answer to yeah, your question, AJ. Yeah, yeah. And uh, to be fair, Flex Lewis has, has improved a lot since then. He was 206 then, AJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he was struggled a to make 212 now. In 2011, he was a 202. Mm. The 2012, when he won the Olympia, was With a my boy Kevin English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 2010 Olympia, man. He was good. Kevin English was freaky. He was a monster. He's... Photos, you could rip him to pieces. But I tell you what, when you see him in the flesh, he was a beast. He, he was. Uh, he, looked like, he, looked, he looked He just twice the size of he's else. probably the most troll guy of all time on the forums, Kevin English. But, I... but when you need to see him in the flesh. Well, I, I can only... freaky. I can only talk about the... Because his physique kind of deteriorated a little bit towards like the Like most men do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, but th that year Flex on stage as an open was two oh six. Now Flex as an open now would be two twenty five to two thirty. Mm. So he's a completely different animal, just like that picture of Brandon Curry with Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, they you know, the, there's obviously well, not obviously because a lot of guys don't progress, but these are bodybuilders that have really progressed. So are you are you are you leading to Flex Lewis competing as an open, or is that what you're leading to? Flex Lewis, what you're saying um, as an open? It's gonna be awesome. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. I can't, listen, I, I'm, to be honest, 212 for me is not really, uh, it's great. But if you want to be the, if you want to become the legend of legend, Dennis Wolf style, you got to compete in the open. Okay. AJ, can I ask you a reaction to something? Mm. What did Jay Cutler and Sean Ray say very recently? 
To be the man, you got to beat the man. No. Woo! No. No, okay. What, what did they say? I have no idea. What did they say about Flex Lewis? That he can win the Olympia. No, they didn't say that he can win the Olympia. What did they say about this year's Olympia? If he'd have done That he would have been Olympia? in the top three. No, they said he would have won it. That is... Uh, I, I have to see that. I cannot say yes Jay to Cutler that. said it on... Um, Flex Lewis would easily I see he did... Uh, Jay Cutler on Instagram Live said that Flex Lewis would have won the Olympia this year if he'd have done it. And Sean Ray said the same on our episode, uh, two episodes again. Who won in uh, Korea, Hardy or Flex Lewis? Uh, oh, th- <laughs> yeah. Close, close. Flex Lewis won. Yeah, yeah, A lot yeah. of people say Hardy, people. Hardy but, yeah. but, but it was close, correct? Yeah. Hardy has improved since then, correct? Did Hardy win this Olympia? No. No. Yeah, but Hardy wasn't 100%. But he was so, so No, no, impressive. no, I'm just saying. Oh, I, I, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, missed like, your point there. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Joe, sorry. Uh, Flex Lewis, I, will, I don't like to say that he would have, would have, you know. All I know is Flex Lewis is, a, is it's, it's one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time when it comes to career. Flex. Already. And he's still mid-30s. And he's mid-still th- representative, comes in condition. There's no coming off. No. Uh, he ended his 212 uh, reign as his best ever. Would you he, say that? He, he did a 91 Olympia Lee Haney. Or a 2011 when, Phil Heath. When, yeah, no, I'm talking about the last one they did and go oh, yeah, out. Okay, okay. Literally go out as the champ and then call it a day. In he, that category. Yeah, but I mean, he, didn't he, he looked incredible in 2018. This last show, Flex Lewis, 212. That's, yeah, I'm saying he went, yeah, yeah. Uh, he went out on top. He went out on his, like, f- f- Lee Haney's best ever Olympia look, I think is debatable. Uh, it's not debatable. Is his is his last Olympia ninety one when he you know he, Dorian was really hot on his tail, it's, and that's what I'm saying. Flex Lewis did the best he ever looked with his last Olympia win. So I'm just saying uh, I don't know if he would have won. All I know is that uh, we have to see the people in the open. Open is way different than two twelve. Don't you agree? It's a total different show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to see it. Well, Hadi's done it. Yeah, and he got third in the third. So still pretty good in the uh, so weakest think, Olympia in. Yeah, but 10 I, years. you know, I just you know what really annoys me is like, I don't like it when people say, "Oh, if so and so had done it this year, he'd have won." So mm. what? You got to be in it to win it, mate. Yeah, but would he have gotten the third with Big Ramy with Flex to try and show a role? Doesn't matter. They the weren't there. Heat? They were not I there. Know, they have to come back in 2020 and step on stage. But it's not a good uh, judge to see where you would place in the open if you base it on this show. Sorry, I don't tell you. Uh, like Hardy got third. Yeah, uh, he's the third best bodybuilder this year. Yeah, but it's that's not a proof he's gonna beat next year, because if all the big guys come yeah. back, it's a different ball game. Yeah, but AJ, I think you have to take into f- into consideration the fact that he was prepping for a show he didn't one hundred percent know he could do. We don't know that because we don't know the backstory. No, Maybe no, 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 no. I think I think that's pretty. Yeah, but he he didn't. No, he didn't. He he didn't. No, no. But we got so many other important things to talk about, <laughs> okay. and that is okay. something really fun. Let's speak into existence. I, 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 I mean, it tells you what an amazing athlete he is because he was prepping for a show all out that he didn't 100% know he could do, and I think that's... And, so, and then you got Cedric. So the most exciting thing, you had a phone call the other day. From? From somebody oh, uh, who wanted you to do a Global Muscle Hardy Chupam tour. That is correct. Tell us about that. I can't tell you too much because it's all... <laughs> what can you imagine? How did you ban so, w- oh. so what do you Epic. think? So obviously, because I like to, with what we're doing with these pro tours, I think we want every single one to be different. It's like the way, because I, I actually postponed the Brandon Curry tour. What did I, you- I took a step back to make it because I want to, I was like, oh, I'm excited about this and it'll be good, but it won't be great. And it won't be better than the last one. So I have to do something epic. We have to do something. Sorry. Hardy, what did Phil Heath say when he see, say to us when he saw Hardy compete in, a, in in Vancouver? That was when we left the Strength Asylum. Yeah, and and we um were in uh, his friend's car, and, we, and 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 Phil got very animated, didn't he? Yeah, got very excited. He says, "This shit gets me really excited about bodybuilding again." Hardy Chupan about you know the competition element and everything because I mean Hardy really brought a lot of excitement to the Olympia this year, a huge amount of excitement. I mean, it was just. Kind of like when Kevin Arone did his comeback 2016, you know? I mean, I know it, was, it, it, it didn't go as well, obviously, it's Hadi, but it did. I was there, AJ. It did add a lot of excitement. It did, whether, whether he did well or not. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I love when he took his top off and he hide his pat legs, remember? It looked good. Imagine you know? if he'd have just dropped his baggies. That would be sad. It would have been like, oh. 
They would have lost anyway, so Hardy Chupas, for people at home, quick. We not we can't say it's gonna happen. We just said we got a phone call. We're trying to work things out. How would how would we do a tour like that? Because he doesn't speak English. Mm -hmm. People at home on YouTube, we love asking you because we get some sometimes it's just trolling you guys do, but sometimes it's very good too. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of good YouTube comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. we, we do, don't have no, we do appreciate. We don't that. have RX trolls. We have a global muscle fans. Well, apart from that one episode we did. Oh. We blocked them. We blocked them. Oh, didn't we? Horrible. <laughs> Delete. End. Bye. Uh, so give us some tips. How would you mm. have a tour with a person who doesn't speak English? Well, why don't we take the Persian to the Persians? Take the what? Take the Persian wolf to the Persian fans. Give the people what they want. The people who can communicate and... There's a lot of Persians in Germany. I like Germany. So a German tour with Hadi Shupan and we appeal it to... The, the, people that, the people that can speak to him face to face. But also, I mean, we're not making, ex you know, we're not um, excluding none, but people who just want to see him. Because the thing is, did you see the amount of views? <sighs> like the Hadi's interviews got. They were like, I mean, that can't be just all Persians. Do you know anything about... And all I Middle Eastern fans. Because like, oh, the thing is, AJ, I said this to Chris earlier. I said, like... Hadi Shupan is like like the way that uh, we have British soccer stars. Mm. Like the 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 welcome they get nationally. I think I've seen Hadi's been on TV. He's had it's like Kamal and Rami and. Who's do you know anything about Iran? What do you know about Iran? It's next to Iraq. What else? Well, I know you've been there. <laughs> what tell, was tell, us about, Iran? tell us about your holiday. So, your so there was a Shah back in the day. I think it was a shah or a prince that had the country. Mm -hmm. And then he got kicked out. And then a guy called Khomeini or something. Khomeini have the power. Okay. And that's how Iran is. Isn't it, Chris? You guys don't know anything about culture or nothing. Hmm. Only bodybuilding. <laughs> Who's more popular, Rami or Hadi? Hadi. Oh. Yeah. So it's like not even a debate? Not even a debate. Well... Well, so when Rami uh, does the Arnold Classic, say wins or gets second at the Arnold Classic, you don't think that's... Hang on a minute. Rami, we're talking Rami here. Big, how is more popular right now? Or is he just the flavor of the month because he's just done the Olympia and all the news that surrounds him and he got to the Olympia. I know it's because it's such a huge story, the fact that, you know, what he's done this year and the fact he finally got to America. But what about... So 2020, who's going to be the most popular, Hadi or Rami? Because Rami's back next year. He'll do the Arnold Classic and I would, I'd imagine he'd do the Olympia. Since you were at the last two Olympias, who got the most crowd reaction, Rami or Hadi? Hadi. Hadi? Well, uh, well yeah, but then last year's Olympia, he was off. But the 2017 Olympia... Wait, 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 when he was close to Phil? Yeah, he, was, he wasn't second, I had him third. No, I Twen <laughs> who do you have second? Bonak. Uh, Bonak first or second? D just to make it clear, do you, <laughs> so stop, people at right, home, stop it. You had Bolnak winning 2017 Olympia over Phil Heath, yes or no? No arguments. Uh, well, that's I don't understand. No, okay, then, okay, then, um, yeah, yeah. Look, me and Phil have argued about this on DMs. <laughs> you had Bolnak beating AJ. Phil. Move on, move on. Stop. So 2017 Rami, stop it. AJ. 2017 you Rami. You can't be serious. Oh, you're not answering the question. You're t you're trying to 20. <sighs> 2017 Olympia version of Rami that year 2019 Hadi like I said I was at both those Olympias it, uh, still probably a little bit Hadi but I don't know maybe it was because the excitement of this fact that this guy has been through what he's been through and I don't know Rami's <laughs> but then again Rami's been since the, the Olympia since 2013 I'm trying to I'd be interested to see next year's Olympia Hadi might do the Arnold so next year's Olympia and Hadi and Rami are in a call out. Who's going to get cheered for more? Hadi or Rami? Uh, Whoever's what? on. Oh, come on. Hadi. Uh, he's really building up a good... And he's got, um, he's got a good vibe about him. Like Olympia him. debut like for Rami. What was that? 12th place? What? Rami, Olympia debut. What did he get? Oh, 12th, 20, 11th? Yeah, that was 2013. I Branch warned him Rami. and gave him a beat down down there. I'm sure How that happened, only sure. God knows. Was he about eighth place? I think because everyone was saying, oh, this guy could win the Olympia. He's no, not first year, but they didn't say that first year. 
2013, I can't remember. Then he moved up, didn't he? He started getting sick. No, uh, then what's fifth. his first place thing? What did he get? I can't remember. But it was ninth or 10th or 12th. or what? I've got 8th in my head for some reason. Okay, how did he get 3rd? And people champion. Oh, but you're saying it's a weak Olympia, AJ. So what's it to be? It is a little bit. Is Wasn't it a weaker Olympia? Uh, well, of course it, yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't weaker. It just had, didn't have a lot of the names in it. Yeah, so a weaker Olympia. Well. All the guys were off in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it was a weaker Olympia. Well, whatever. Well, it was a very, very successful Olympia. Twenty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, no. there was more. There was more. That place was busier than it was in 2018. I'm just saying for the open guys on stage. Well, yeah, mm. but all the other classes were stacked. Yeah, I, I'm fully that aware. Was, I, do you know what though? That classic at the Olympia, because I've I've made a couple of, I've like complained a little bit about some of the classic shows <laughs> yeah like you get this the first three and they are four three four five guys and they're fantastic and the rest i've said how do some of these guys even get their pro cards some of them aren't even conditioned i don't I even know. know who these guys well, are where did they turn pro honestly mate <laughs> th- no this year's olympia this year's classic olympia mm. 35 competitors and I, and I did i did a little video on instagram uh, instagram live i filmed it and i put it on the Inst- uh, md instagram live and there was all the guys Coming out, and I was just, I was scanning across, and I was thinking, this is by far mm. the best classic show I've ever seen. I mean, literally, like, the depth. Like, there was guys not making, when well, they placed up the first 15. There was guys who would have been placed 16th that had nailed it. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, at the Arnold Classic a couple of years ago, there was Brion, Arash, and there was, like, 20 guys, you think, like, I'm sorry, but a lot of those guys didn't belong to me. Uh, since Stevie Wonder filmed the show, I couldn't see everything. <laughs> uh, was Sadiq uh, there? I can't remember. Was Sadiq in this? No. No, he's gone back to f- uh, Men's Physique. Yeah, but was he in Men's Physique this year? Oh. Perhaps I think. I'm just I wondering, because he's a big star in the world. So, but Arash was uh, dropped down. I know, I know Arash right. was. But Sadiq, was he in Men's Physique? Did you uh, see him? I saw him at the Arnold Classic. He was at the Arnold Classic. I'm talking about... I know <laughs> I did see him at the Olympia, but I can't yeah? remember seeing him on stage. I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember. I would have paid, thing is, AJ, I would have paid a little bit more attention to classic. Bef- than I did to Before we go, because we got to go, uh, last thing, this Olympia uh, was really successful when it comes to production. Oh, yeah. It was sold out. Dan uh, Solomon, Dan Solomon, Angelica Nebbia. Uh, t- uh, Tamer Gwindy. Tom El Gwindy. Tamer, Tamer Gwindy. Yeah, that was the part. That was the kind of the core team, and he obviously had the other people. The, stree- the job. streaming, even though the video who filmed it was the streaming quality was mm. ten out of ten. Oh, good. Okay. There was no glitches. So you're saying it was better than iHerb? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, iHerb needs to just retire, bro. Oh. Anyway. Uh, they cut off Sergio's debut. Cut off his what? Sergio Olivas, rookie Olympia, the son of a legend. What do you mean cut off? When he was, the streaming went out on Friday, remember? Uh, so I couldn't see Sergio. Yeah, but he didn't do his routine. No, but it's when he went out alone. Oh, when he come up by 60 So seconds. I haven't, technically I haven't seen Sergio at Olympia, Sergio. Oh. Only seen him at the press conference. Oh, when he was having beef with Nathan. The Asha, the pride of the UK. No, but. Why, why are you even here? So Sergio? it was a. It, it, <laughs> Why are you even here? And then Sergio got the mic and totally. <laughs> so, <laughs> for, I, I, you know, I, I messaged Sergio after and said, you fought hate with love. So this Olympia production was great. Every, of course, there's things, tons of things can be improved, but things have been improved. Yeah. Uh, price money for the females up. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Price money for the 212, although we wanted a lot more. It's been up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all heading mm. the right direction. So for ne- next year, 2020, it's mm. going to be the most glorious Olympia of all time. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. So oh. it's up. The, the build-up starts today. Yeah. It's our job, all the, the journalists, to hype, to talk about all the classics. Mm-hmm. And it's your job as fans yes. to stop being negative. And start hyping the people, hype the bodybuilders, because if we work together, guys, mm. we can create, because we can't change what we can't change. We, F- Ronnie Coleman is not coming back. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Kai Green is not coming back. Uh, no, Dennis trolling Wolf, on Twitter. Dennis Wolf is not coming back. Meaning, we have what we have. Yeah. And let's work together. To make bodybuilding grow. That should be our year plan. It should start today. Can I make an observation? Yes. I find that the people that are most negative about the Olympia 
are the ones that were not there. Because I'm telling you, everyone that was there, it was 90, 98% very, very positive. It's not, you've got to be there. Like, I, don't, I don't understand. Like I've been to, was it six, seven Olympias now? I think it's seven. I don't see how you can call yourself a bodybuilding fan if you live in America and you don't go to Olympia. Uh, that's, I, forget about these guys. They don't even... I don't even understand. And these people, like, they'll, they'll be like regulars on forums and like, they live like a, a, an hour, one hour flight or a four hour drive away. And I'm thinking, why would you not go to the Olympia? The Olympia is absolutely the highlight of the year for me. And it's not all it. I will take you back. It's not about promoting the him Olympics. I mean, all bodybuilding. You know what I mean? Be positive about, let's get bodybuilding back to the, like, it's not only about Olympia. Like, right, okay. You know, like yeah, the yeah. bodybuilding, let's get bodybuilding back in the streets. Meaning yeah. we, we can't just be negative guys at home. Fans, mm -hmm. we got to hype it. You have Instagram, hype the guys. Hype it, hype it, hype it. Yeah. And, and, and hopefully we go back to the glory days. But it won't help. Takes by, effort. It won't help by being negative. Well, I think I think the first step is for the media outlets, i.e., the the, the YouTubers. All the other you YouTubers stop with the clickbait bullshit. Oh, that's not never stop doing stop. the These sensational trolls. titles, which actually are oh. detrimental to the athletes. These trolls, it's not even. The, I'm sorry, if you care about the uh, care about the industry and you want to make a living from it, try and try and create something positive. Try and try and follow, if you want to find some new, if you report some news, why not contact the athlete and ask them? Well, so Don't just use hearsay, and then. And and report lies. Was Don't there, report. No. Was there a queue for these guys at Olympia at all? These nope. YouTubers. Nope. Not nada. Zero. Nada. Nothing. nothing. Nada. There's, there's no interaction. Like like you know. I mean, you. We've been lucky enough to build good like friendships. Yeah. yeah friendships yeah. because we treat them with respect and we we report the facts. We were supportive. We're not sort of mean spirited and trying to like kick them when they're down or they get one bad. It's like. I don't say like like me saying ah, Roly's finished after the Arnold. He's finished. I was actually in my column, my MD Muscle Boss column, and it's Globe Muscle Boss, and I was saying like he'll be back. He's, this guy is gonna return. Like now, you know. So in times like that, maybe try and give some a little bit positive. Give some, you know, and just and report the facts. And remember to put hashtag Jesus in your Instagram. He'll work out. And we are we out? Are we out? No, we're not out yet. Are we out? Why? Why'd you say that? <laughs> why'd you say that, AJ? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. You don't right, want to get right, people. No, 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 no. No, but in Instagram, uh, in the bodybuilding world, in sports world, whatever, there's a lot of... Um, like, um, if like, you're going to use uh, Jesus and uh, saves me and pay... Uh, you know, the, um, I'm a Catholic myself, not very practicing, but I'm, uh, I went to a Catholic school, okay. meaning I'm a Christian Catholic. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't put all those Jesus quotes and all that while I'm standing naked showing my vagina <laughs> on Instagram and saying God is good. Okay. If you go now to see a lot of these pros, mm -hmm. uh, female side, for instance. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Jesus, this, that, and their nipples are out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't ah, see yeah, the. Yeah. I don't I un see the. Instant unfollow from me. Instant unfollow. Ha! Bullshit. And also, Jesus will take care of things. It's better, my bit, go look for a job. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if you want to sponsor your show, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Jesus will not take care of your prep. Mm -hmm. You need to go and maybe get in line and get a job. Batman. Mm, oh, yeah. Like my, Who gave you those? Do you like my cufflinks? Who gave you those? I'm not saying. Why, why did you get them? <laughs> okay, I've had a lovely... Uh, <laughs> 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 Just, uh, who gave you those cufflinks? I'm not saying. Um, what did you do to well, that person it, to, to it get... Was, it wasn't Juliana Malakan. She dissed you, didn't she? No, I just asked her out for dinner. And she said, fuck off? And she said, well, two reasons. <laughs> I like men with long hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said, well, I'm not going to be at the Olympia. Oh, well, no, She said, that would be lovely, I'm sure. Then I checked on her Instagram, and I think she's got a fella. So I think she's just been polite. But so that's, that's the second I've been blown up by now. We got to go. Now we got to yeah. go. Okay, so <laughs> nice little... Uh, Crazy oh. intro. Really good one. Crazy I'm feeling intro. the vibe. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling testosterone okay, building up. Okay, we'll be right back after the break. Also, a big thank you to High Tech Pharmaceuticals. Yeah, by the way, yeah. Wonderful sponsor. <laughs> MD, Muscular big Development. We're rising. Pump, pump Media. And uh, as you can see, the lovely, beautiful branding. And uh, Chris has registered the trademark now. You, you right, paid Chris? 10 cents for this? Tell us. <laughs> tell us. Oh, okay, nothing to tell. Okay. Um, yes, okay. And uh, we'll be right back after the break with our first guest on... Global Muscle YouTube Show. <laughs> and we are Out. out.
And welcome back to MD Global Muscle Radio here at the Pump Meter Studios. Joined by my co-host, AJ, all the way from Norway. And we're joined by all the way from Las Vegas, Dennis! Oh! Wolf! <laughs> We gotta give him a clap. Oh, we gotta give him a clap. Yeah. <laughs> to the wolf, man. I appreciate it so much. It, hey, it, AJ, it feels. How are how you guys doing? It was a depressing Olympia for me because I couldn't go. Yeah. I was depressed, uh, Dennis. I was drinking vodka, I was crying at home. And then I saw you front stage sitting with your wife. <laughs> yeah. And I saw the DMs and thank, I saw that. Right. thank you for giving me back the Olympia feeling. You can't hey, have Olympia without support. Dennis Wolf. That, you know, the, the, the good thing is when I walk into the arena, I, uh, I meet so many friends and colleagues. This is just nice, you know, mm. but, you know, Olympia itself, I don't know. It was something else than uh, what, what we used to see. Yeah. In the, in the past. Tell us say. about. Tell us about your feelings towards this Olympia. Uh, ooh, I know where to start. Um, honestly, the only uh, thing I'm not happy about it um, is that most of the guys were again not in condition. Mm -hmm. you know? And if there's a title where all of you guys, like you know, top five, top ten, or from last year, could have that, you know, could win this title. And you bring this, yeah, not ready uh, physique on stage, you know. Uh, I think it's just, um, uh, it's disrespectful to, yeah, to the um, professional or, uh, bodybuilding, you know. It's, it's mm. uh, you look back, like, if just, just five, six years back, mm. you know, top ten, you know, they, they were all in shape, you know. And right now it's just... Even uh, if you if you look at Cedric McMillan, you know he, yeah. he got an inv invitation, everything, but he's done nothing for it to to bring it, you know. Yeah, so I agree, I agree. I'm just disappointed, but not you know it's not personal or something. I'm just disappointed because I'm an athlete or former athlete, and uh, if I see this, it just you know makes me a little bit uh, sad, right? And uh, I don't understand the the point of view of these athletes. Mm. What, Dennis? What? I don't. I see the. You know, I I used to have a goal to be the best I can be. It doesn't matter what. All right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that that was my goal. It was my my um, yeah thing to do in the prep. Dennis, why do you think? Because the level of conditioning was, like you say, from five six years ago. It was quite. It's there's quite a disparity there. Why do you think mm -hmm. that so many of the guys were, used to be in condition and now some of the guys really kind of aren't bringing their absolute best condition. What do you think has changed? What, I mean, you've, you know, you've only retired a while. You stopped competing last year or whatever, so it's fairly recent for you. But why do you think that is? Why do you think there's such a difference now? I think, uh, you know, it's also as, uh, at my time when I was competing, there was the main issue, the size. The people, you know, the athletes don't want to lose weight. They don't want to go down with the weight just to bring the condition, the, the, the sharpness. And uh, right now, I don't understand why it is like this. Um, you know, it was at my time, also the, the, um, yeah, the issue, most of them didn't bring it. Mm -hmm. But when I was like, you know, amateur and just, you know, got my pro card, mm -hmm. like top six, top seven, top eight, they were mm -hmm. rock hard, you know, rock hard on stage. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's size, it's the size and, uh, I mean, we can do a lot of uh, things wrong in the last couple of days, but you're going to look just watery maybe or overloaded or just uh, thin or, or, you know, not, not uh, um, uh, impressive enough. But if you still have this, this lack in condition because of fat or anything else, it's, it means you're not, um, you, or you, 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 you've been lazy. That's yeah. my point, you know, that you've been lazy. If you're not bringing the condition you're supposed to bring, you know, there's no point to, to, to discuss it because, you know, I, I see it um, different because I wanted to be that, that dry, that hard, you know. Mm. Um, like, you, you remember um, Dory Nies was telling everyone he, has, he had problems with his uh, feet because there was, you know, no fat, no nothing, just skin <laughs> yeah. and on, right? So yeah. I had to say... I had the same uh, problem, so I couldn't walk. Like after Olympia, the following shows, I couldn't even walk backstage. You know, I need I needed uh, to push really? some shoes on because I was wow. sore. <laughs> you know, and this is what I mean. 
You have to bring your condition to a next level to be able to win, you know, yeah, or yeah. be competitive. And this is what I'm, um, you know, not okay with. And I'm a little bit disappointed and sad with what, you know, what, what happened this Olympics. So, Especially when the title is wide open this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That people weren't willing to <laughs> suffer when this year any man could have won. Yeah, well, within reason. Yeah, yeah. With, yeah. So what, what about... Some, some of them, of course, because, you know, if you, if you know the, the title is wide open, Mm. Yeah, like never before, right? Yeah. The, 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 um, the champ is not there. The eight-time champ is not there. You know, you got to kick your ass, man, in the prep. Mm. So this is it. But you never know what is, um, you know, what, what, what's going on in the prep. You know, you can have great times in the prep. You can have a bad times, you know. So just, just you know, my opinion on what I saw. Yeah. So what about the actual placings? What, what was your feelings on the placings of the athletes in the Open? Okay, uh, in the open class, I would say Hardy did great. Mm -hmm. He looked great. Uh, I, I would say he was most conditioned and most impressive guy on stage. Okay. By far. Mm -hmm. um, Brandon was, you know, Brandon has um, he had this, this um, how do you call it? He, he was improving every season. So he, he came to the Arnold, he won the Arnold. Before the Arnold, he was also improving every season. So every six months, if he stepped on stage, you could see he improved. He yeah. looked better, yeah. uh, more detailed, um, you know. But as far as um, we talk about Mr. Olympia title, I think there, there must be more, you know. There must be more a little bit. Because I think Brandon looked impressive in the upper, um, in the upper body back everything but the legs they they you know were not perfect from the uh, from the back from the side they improved a lot you know mm -hmm. since uh you want to True. Less, uh, this year. so i think an over package was great but i think he could be much better than if he is not going with this uh yeah size thing you know he need to be a little bit more drier and he will be much more impressive um <clears throat> william bonak is is my buddy um i love him I, I, uh, I'm happy for him, you know, second place, this is yeah. true. To be number two in the world, this is just great. But I figured that he looked impressive, he looked amazing, he looked sharp as never before, but I think the size, you know, that was the issue, you know, he lost a little bit of weight. Yeah. Uh, for me, he looked great, but I don't know, maybe for the judges, he looked a little bit slimmer, you know, than uh, the year yeah. before. But I kind of like it because... You look always much sharper if you're a little bit smaller, you know. And um, maybe you didn't uh, uh, try to load that much as, as usual. I don't know. But I like the look. Really good. Yeah, I did. So that's, I did. that's my top three. Um, who else? Who? But one thing, Dexter, Dennis. Can I... Dexter was. Does Dexter one... was really good. One question, Dennis. I didn't get your yes. placings. The top three. Who would you, yeah. if you were the judge now, what is your top three in your opinion? Oh man, oh man, yeah, yeah. That, that's hard. You know, William is my buddy. You know, I like the 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 um, um, I like many physics on stage. I understand, but I will probably do the same. Uh, maybe, um, yeah, I, do, I will. I will keep the top three maybe the same. Maybe okay. switch William and um, Hardy. Hardy, maybe, maybe because Hardy was like over, overall condition was just yeah, just just you know an eye catcher. Were you, you know. as, were you as impressed with Hardy as you expected to be? <clears throat> you know, I, I was more impressed with Hardy when I was at the uh, um, Vancouver Pro. Oh, you were at Vancouver. Oh, you were there. You were there. Oh. I saw him oh. right, right next to me. Yeah. And I think because uh, Hardy uh, stood next to other guys, not the Olympians, you know, that was more impressive because, you know, there was – no chance that the other guys... He, he was definitely yeah. better at Vancouver. Even Honey Rambod, we did the wrap-up, Flex Wheeler and Honey Rambod, and uh, Flex said, if you didn't look like he did at Vancouver, even though Flex wasn't there, he said, I think he'd have shut the, shut the door and won. And Honey said, I think he's 85% of what he was at Vancouver. So it wasn't just a lighting or whoever he was next to. His his coach himself, you know, who knows his physique very well, definitely said he was he was about 10, 15% what he was off Vancouver. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, so uh, probably, uh, yeah, I, I have an eye for it, but, you know, if you see it live, if you see, like, if you uh, sit next to to stage, like, I don't know, two meters, 
Mm-hmm. That's a completely different picture. Mm-hmm. You know, I uh, I was at the Olympia a little bit more far back. Um, you know, I had my seat in the back. But, uh, you know, Hadi is just, just uh, you know, he came out. Everything was just on point, you know. His posing, his, his fullness, his condition, you know. I, I really like the look he brought. Mm. What about the? Is, is there somebody who impressed you that you weren't expecting to be impressed by in the open class? Yes, uh, Patrick Moore. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He impressed me very much. Um, he's kind of. Uh, I, I know how to to put it in, in in words. He looks he looks more aesthetic. He's yeah. a tall guy, more aesthetic. Uh-huh. I, I wouldn't say classic, but he looks like a yeah, like like yeah, eighties, nineties bodybuilders. Who just about to make this this yeah. this you know mm. this coming you know this coming out as a pro you know he I don't know what to say but um, I think he could be far uh, uh, um, more like in the top I don't know top seven eight yeah. maybe mm. so pretty pretty good uh, athlete and uh, I hope he's uh, he's doing well in the next couple of years I heard he's over thirty. Already, so yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's got yeah, he's got plenty of time. He's got plenty of time, Dennis. He's got plenty of time. Yeah, you know. So, did you see any other classes? Were you anyone who stood out or anything that uh, you were impressed by? Uh, classic physique. Classic. Tell us. Yeah. Oh, you know, I was very happy for Chris. Um, you know, I think it's uh, the guy is you know is perfect for for uh, classic physique, um, but. In whole preparation, he looked a little bit thin. You know, he was not so expressive, yeah, uh, impressive like the other guys yes. who were in preparation for Olympia. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be good or not good because most of the guys, if you know, if they in prep, they look full, they look like you know bigger a little bit and 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 try to get rid of the weight, you know. But Chris looked like almost whole prep, pretty pretty, yeah. Condition, see, and uh, yeah, we saw the end. You you looked amazing I mean, next to other guy. I mean, Chris for me was probably certainly. I mean, I saw some of the photos, and obviously I saw him in the flesh. For me, he was one of the most conditioned athletes in the entire Olympia. Bunch I mean, it was yeah, he was granite hard. He was so hard, very very hard. I know, God, he's a big. Well, we're both George Peterson fans. I thought I thought George Peterson in third should have won. Um, you know, uh, George Peter is, is it the um, Arnold Classic champion? Yes, right? correct. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Um, um, what is classic? That's the thing. What oh, is no. classic? You two thousand and seven. This is classic, and this is not classic. I, you know? I don't think it made. So, I don't think it made the weight limit in two thousand seven. Classic is Dennis Wolf two thousand seven. <laughs> Bob Paris, <laughs> Lila Brava. I, I, I think he was about eighty pounds over the limit. No, but that's classic. You don't need no weight <laughs> limits. You just need to have a beautiful physique. <laughs> like you have to Wolf. saw both his legs off to make the uh, weight limit. Each time I'm sad by the current bodybuilding situation, Dennis, because it's kind of sad compared to back in the day. I put on your two thousand seven routine. <laughs> it's 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 on YouTube. Yeah, I mean that was that was my <laughs> that favorite. was that was something oh, else. Every- yeah, my favorite. Oh, yeah. Do you watch that? Do you watch yourself sometimes watch and, yourself. and 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 just uh, uh, reminisce? You no, know, I just I, I just made a uh, YouTube video. I'm kind of talking about my posing routine mm, nah. from, from 2007. So yeah. uh, I don't know what the, the reaction gonna be. Oh. Uh, but it's um, you know when I watch that, you know when I'm like watching my my uh, posing routine, you know I'm kind of sore after that because I'm squeezing <laughs> my abs and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know? During the watch, you know, this is like unbelievable. Like, if you watch world championships in soccer, you know, so you're like, yeah. that's with me the same. You know, I watch my videos when I, uh, you know, like my posing routine, I kind of squeezing everything, you know. Yeah, it's 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 fun, it's fun because, uh, you know, looking back at this time, it's just, phew. I, I miss that because you don't see that guys anymore who just, you know, coming out like, you know, <clears throat> and, and want to be a superstar we have like superstars like uh, William Bonac uh-huh. like five years ago nobody uh, wanted to know anything about him and he made his way yeah, up yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 success Bonac yeah oh, yes. continual rise continual, continual rise. rise yeah yeah sorry so to I'm, uh, I'm, uh, sorry to interrupt and, uh, 
Can we sort the screen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Sorry, De- one second, Dennis. We've got a bit of light hitting your screen, mate. Can we just move the, the just sun? Or sh- shut the blind. That's yeah, better. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just. T- good. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, that's, is that okay? Is that good? Enough? That's, right. that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it might just creep round if the sun comes round a little bit more. <laughs> okay. You're just showing off with the sun. No, it's not UK. There's no sun. It's sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we, we had we had about th- thirty seconds of sun yesterday, and we got all, we had a little <laughs> sun dance outside. We had a sun dance. Mm. <laughs> so, what can we do to create some more stars, Dennis? What what's what should, what can we do? Because we yeah. want to see body. Because the your era, it was truly something. Maybe we didn't realize how special it was until it was over. But what can we do as a community to get back to that? Because we need it. Kids need it. Yeah. I I, I guess just uh, yeah. We need to support talents. Mm. You know, mm. we need to mm. figure out what they're doing. Maybe uh, get them some help. Because we have a lot of talents. If I see the uh, amateur shows, there are so many guys, but I think they have nobody who can show show them the way. Mm. You know how to do mm. everything properly. You know most of the guys there just just you know coming to this uh, uh, um, yeah fitness industry want to compete and want to make a lot of money, but they don't know anything. You know I think yeah. most of the guys going. On the social media, that's the most important thing for them. But I think to work on yourself and then present yourself at the shows, it's still more valuable than uh, you know the followers and everything. Of course, I understand with followers, uh, you do a promotion for products, t-shirts, whatever for your own uh, merchandise. You make money of it. That's that's fine. But if you don't work on yourself, you know, just just being on Instagram or YouTube, it, it doesn't. Uh, um, uh, get you to the point where you want to be, you know, uh, um, competition-wise. So you're saying you want people that these athletes, these kind of good level amateur athletes, need uh, people to show them the way. A straightforward question: Do you think there's too many coaches or not enough coaches? By what you're saying? No, um, the coach, um, the coach cannot always be, um, you know, your guide. If you know what you want. Right mm-hmm. then, of course, it is helpful to have a coach who has experience and can tell you what to do, what is the right thing to do, when is the uh, uh, the right time to have a break, to wait, you know, and then um, you know have a break for the body and things like this. Yeah, I think this is important. Um, we have a lot of trainers. Look, if I have an athlete and I train him, this guy has um, also athletes. He trains another guy. So, how does it work? Does he copying my my uh, uh, plans or my 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 prep? What, what we are going through, mm. and uh, just just you know adding or uh, taking something out and give it uh, uh, to to his guys. Mm. So this is the problem, I think. You know, but <clears throat> anyways, there's so many trainers who has no clue. Yeah, but okay. there's a difference. You know, if you have a trainer who just explains you everything because the trainer has experience you know and then the athlete after like two three years get more experience uh he has um a lot of tips from his trainer then he can improve and evolve to go further but if you're a trainer and just want to make money and just send him plans every two three weeks and you know there's nothing else in it so it's not gonna work so So they, they they stay the same They're yeah. going to stay in the same level, you know? Okay, so you're saying, okay, there's three categories. Trainer, coach, mentor. So you, you, do you think, right. is, that, is that what you're, you're saying? Exactly, yes. Yeah. A mentor is the guy who is not, uh, um, it's not about money. It's about to bring, to help the guy who we work with to his best, you know, uh, to the limit. You know, yeah, to the, yeah, yeah. Mm. So you can guide them rather than just tell them how to train and, you know, and actually, right, like right. say someone like Neil Hill, he's not... He's not just like a trainer to Flex Lewis. He's like a mentor. He's like a, right. a you know, exactly. like, like you said, a guide. I, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than just someone like a straightforward personal trainer or telling someone how to train right. or a coach telling someone what to eat or. What do you do? Right. Are you more of a mentor or are you more of a trainer? Or you, what uh, are you? Yeah. I'm kind of both. You know, I have some some guys. They uh, uh, look at me as a mentor. Uh-huh. Uh, this is uh, honor. You know, I'm honored. And this is nice, uh, and, you know. And I work with these guys very, very close. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if, if this is almost friendship. You know, mm-hmm. like uh, 
Then I also have a lot of athletes who just want to be bodybuilders or athletes, you know, they don't need that, that kind of guy, you know, they just want to improve a little bit, that's it, you know. Mm. I have many, many types of uh, athletes who just want to get in shape, who just want to, to, to make his first show, and some of the guys like Kirill Hudayev, he, he is working with me, with me just um, one year, and he improved. The whole year was just... What was uh, his name? Topitella. Unbelievable. Every show it was better and better. Which, so, oh, we didn't hear, what was his name? Uh, it's uh, Kirill Hudayev. He's oh, from sorry, Ukraine. I thought you said Topitella. Uh, okay, <laughs> where is he from? Uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. Oh, okay. okay. What, what, what category? Is he pro or...? No, yeah, yeah. He's pro. He was in classic physique. Uh, okay. He was, I think, in the top 15 or so. Yeah, I'm... I'm still, you know, if you're not in top 10, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. So is that, is that the biggest 11, part? 12 or 16, there's it's, no... It doesn't no, matter, no, no, no. Big deal, you know. So is that, <laughs> is that the biggest part of your day now, uh, coaching and, and mentoring and guiding athletes now? Right, yeah, this is what I do. And also, uh, I'm, um, I'm going to have my first ever show, the oh, Dennis Wolf Classic. Huh? In a way, in uh, Germany, in uh, two and a half weeks. Okay. Oh, fantastic! Where, where in Germany? And what? Tell us that's, more. Uh, yeah, that's uh, West Germany. It's close to Dortmund. The city calls Datteln. So it's I've competed uh, yeah. in Datteln, Dennis. Yes, I've competed exactly. in Datteln. That, I've competed uh, there. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, you ride it the same like a Datteln. Datteln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Dennis, I remember because I, I competed and um, and it was my last show. And the only thing I could get to eat and drink was beer and sausages. And that's the two things I didn't like. <laughs> beer and sausages. I was all I want. That's all I could get. Like, like after the show, right away. Yeah, oh yeah. And I was like, I don't like oh, beer. I did oh. at the time. I, I like beer. It was the worst time, probably. I like beer now. I don't mind sausages. But those, that's the only you, two things I do, could get you, at the time. You do like them sausages. I've seen it. No, <laughs> <laughs> no tell us more. I like beer. Tell us more about the show. Yeah, the show is going to be... On the October 19th in Datteln, Germany, and it's the first ever show, original show, IPB Pro League regional show okay. in Germany. So I'm the first man who is starting it. Two weeks after, we have the uh, Bavarian show, so it's going to be the number two. Oh. And week after that, we have the Dennis James Classic. That's a pro qualifier. Yeah, so there are three shows, okay. like, you know, every uh, two weeks. <clears throat> yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be a small show, and we are... Uh, about to bring next year more of the shows. Oh, wow. So there will be not pro cards in your show, but you have to do them to qualify for the Dennis James Classic, correct? Right. Also for, the, for this year, it's not necessary to do my show to compete at the uh, uh, Dennis James Classic. But okay. next year, you have if to. you're from Germany and you've never been to a pro qualifier, you have yeah. to okay. do yeah. the small show, the NPC Worldwide, and the IPB Pro League regional Fantastic. show. Which divisions do you have? Oh, we have bodybuilding, all divisions. We have classic physique. We have men, we have men's physique. We have figure. We have women's physique. We have um, juniors. We have masters. What else? Yeah. Wow. Pretty, pretty much everything. Pretty much <laughs> all of them, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Do, do you enjoy contest promotion now? Is it something you really, 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 is it something you've really taken to? I oh man, this is uh, hard work. This is uh, you it's know, I didn't expect that. Um, you know, in the beginning it was easy. You know, you make your order, you make your plans, and everything. But as soon as it's going closer to the show, to this date, mm. you know, I'm uh, like me and my wife. We are like daily five hours on on computer and, and uh, working wow. on everything. You know, this is crazy. We have like right now daily. Yeah, two to four athletes, uh, you know, <laughs> was, uh, yeah, yeah, signing up for registration. Wow. Uh, we sold uh, about 300 tickets already, so good, good. everything is, is uh, turning out pretty good. And I, ho I, I hope this show is going to be a killer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's for the first time, I'm nervous a little bit. You don't know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. how the show is going to be. You know, I have uh, a lot of German stars. Exactly. Dennis James is coming over as a guest. So, yeah. I'm excited, but this is this is really not uh, what I'm used to do. You know, yeah, <laughs> something yeah. new. I love it. It's it's uh, it's a lot of work. It's 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 different kind of work. You know, it's not uh, uh, physical work, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it keep me keep me alive a little bit. Keep me busy. <laughs> that, can you fix the light? Can you, yeah, sorry, can you just twist the laptop that? again? You got the, the lights. Uh, that's moving a bit. Yeah, oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you if you're, if you're uh, German and you haven't competed before. 
it's the Dennis Wolf you want to yeah. do in your first show. Yeah, that's, fantastic. That's, uh, fantastic. That's a guarantee. Who will be there? You got any famous people coming other than yourself? Or? Uh -huh. Yes, I had um, Adolf Burkhardt. He just turned oh, yeah, yeah, very good. Last year, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, last year at the Dennis James Classic. Yeah. So he improved a lot. He looked massive. So I'm uh, looking forward to see him on stage as a guest poser. Yeah. It, it, oh, so guest posing. But what? Have you, what about? Because he was very good. I saw the. Is he, he going to be open when he competes? Open. Or, yes. Yeah. He's going to yeah, be open, too big for uh, 12, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Great. So great have, symmetry. Yeah, we'll see. Then we have uh, Steve Benteen as a guest. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, great yeah, routine, yeah, yeah. Always fun. <laughs> Hang on a minute. He's not going to do the Ghostbusters again, is he? <laughs> Did you see the Ghostbusters guest? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's hilarious. Oh, yeah. This guy's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two twelve uh, bald yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. Great yeah. physique. Great physique. Yeah, great physique. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, actually, Steve looked amazing on uh, on stage before before he uh, started his prep after um, New York Pro for the um, Olympia. Mm. He got sick pretty much, and uh, yeah, yeah. you know, so he was like not training for three weeks. Just, you know, sitting on the toilet <laughs> like for two weeks. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then I told him, let's like, come on to uh, Las Vegas uh, and then uh, prepare you for three weeks. And it turned out pretty good. Mm. Um, he looked amazing. Of course, it was hard for him. I mean, three weeks, no carbs at all. Oh. That was hell. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to be there. Uh, then we have, uh, of course, Dennis James and uh, many amateur uh, athletes from Germany, mm -hmm. uh, you know, who was... Um, I, you know, it's famous. I would say famous. Yeah, famous in this scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much. We have like 50 guests. Wow, <laughs> fantastic. Wow. Uh, do you know what happened to that German who just Mike Summerfield? Is he gone? I have, do you know anything no, about he's him? He's competing. He's competing. Uh, I think Mike Summerfield. He turned pro. Yeah, yeah. So he's La gonna last year in London. He, yeah, uh, last year in London. I do believe he's he's actually prepping for something now. Yeah, because I haven't seen him since he's, that he's show. Prepping. Yeah, he's prepping. Yeah. Yes, yeah, looks I, good. Looks I good. think. I think he's prepping for a show in uh, yeah. two, three, four weeks, something like oh, that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Romania yeah. Pro, maybe. Might but be the Romania, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I don't know this guy, oh, so okay, I okay. just saw the pictures. Um, and then uh, when I see something on Instagram, that's why, you know, I yeah. uh, I know the name. But yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. usually, you know, so I don't know, man. <laughs> a lot, it's, uh, it's, a lot it's, of it's, great guys. So, I'm, mm. you know, a lot of youth, I hope they just, you know, keep their mind focused and and uh, you know keep keep working on the dreams how is the german uh, bodybuilding scene compared to when you were coming up i i would say right now we have more people athletes involved in the industry okay and uh it was not my time because we we didn't have bikinis we had nothing no more uh, okay okay yeah. bodybuilding and women bodybuilding that's it yeah at that time, the bodybuilding was always uh, huge. We had, at the time when I uh, won my uh, uh, German champion, uh, championships, we have like 15 guys on stage in the open class and the heavy class. Wow. So wow. now it's, uh, you know, my my show at the Dennis Wolf Classic is packed with, with athletes for for uh, the classic physique, right? It's The, the total class is mm. packed. That's you know, it's problem. most, uh, I think, the most famous... Uh, division right now mm. so uh, open bodybuilding like heavy bodybuilders yeah you don't see that money anymore no you know? this is very unfortunate this is what makes um you know people decide to do uh, different divisions because there are these divisions right yeah, yeah, yeah. there were no divisions so that you uh, if you love bodybuilding you got to do bodybuilding so mm. that's it right now you have yeah you have uh to choose Men's physique, if you just train two years, you know, if you look good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the... Uh, then then classic physique, of course, if you develop your physique and you look just great, you know, you yeah. can do that. But, of course, there are so many um, old bodybuilders, right, in a, a classic physique because they just uh, get rid of weight, you know, just, just drop something mm. and then try to compete there. But... This is my issue. I see that. I see, you, you see a bodybuilder or former open bodybuilder in this class, and it doesn't look nice or, or good next to the classic physique guy. So that's, that, that was, that's why I'm asking myself, what is classic physique, mm. right? So classic physique needs to look like what? You know, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, Sami Banur or I don't know. So what is classic physique? That's, that's the big question. Uh, like, like you see Chris Bumstead looked amazing. Right, mm. so 
than Brion next to him. You know, he won the, last, the past two years, yep. but this year he lost. But I think he looked a little bit, yeah, smaller and more kind of perfect bodybuilder, right? Mm -hmm. Small, perfect bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Reese is more like, more aesthetic, more symmetrical, you know, a little bit taller, you know. So, and, and there's, there's my problem, you know. It's, I, I, don't, I don't know how to judge this class. It's you know? very subjective. Yeah, it's very nobody subjective. knows. No, no. Everyone, everyone has a different opinion. It's and, a mixed bag of yeah. opinions. And, but if you want to become a legit Hall of Famer legend like Dennis Wolf, you got to do the Open, man. Yeah. Right? Uh, That's you, you, true. <laughs> Global Muscle will not call you if you've done classic before, <laughs> when you're retired, you got to do the open. You got to you, yeah. you got to stand next to Kai Green and Sean Roden and and, and win shows. That's when you call you up from Global Muscle, man. Mm. Oh, Dennis Wolf, man. <laughs> Dennis Wolf. You yeah, gave us so many great memories yeah, over the yeah, time. Yeah. But it's what's it good to see that some retired pros they turn in depressive or overweight or giving up or shredded but dennis is doing his cardio putting on shows uh, still with the same wife still with a smile on his face sure. life is good isn't it yes you know um Living in Vegas. being being um uh, <laughs> uh you know or uh, having hard times mm. you know it's it's not that easy i think every man in his life going to yeah such hard and difficult times doesn't matter what age you are you know mm. if you're like like um, I did um, you know after the injury I had some uh, issues of course mentally but if you overcome it man it's like you feel just more amazing you know yeah. it's, if you overcome it you know it, you, you you feel like new life begins so that's why I uh, I try to keep myself busy you know I start doing these promotions, you know, doing the shows. Next year, we're trying to bring two shows wow. uh, uh, for the people. And, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I, I set different goals for myself right now. You know, like back in the days, there were a goal to be on stage and win possibly every show, if possible, right? So, <laughs> but right now, it's, the goal is to enjoy life, just live the life, making Good money, you know. I don't want to be a multimillionaire, or whatever. But I want to live normal life. I want, yeah. you know, just uh, mm. enjoying my my jet skis, you know, whenever I want. <laughs> so it's jet skis. <laughs> ah, I'm not sure about that. We don't I, want to get no injuries, Dennis. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> they hey, look fun. They look what? fun, man. Oh, it looks I risky. It's easy, you know. But it's <laughs> probably worse than uh, other things to ride because uh, <laughs> last time I went out, it was pretty windy, and uh, I, 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 you know. I, I flew from from the jet ski three times, and uh, one time I just uh, hit hit the um, hit the front with my face, oh. and I went backwards on the, on the water. And I was I, I came out of the water and I was touching my face, so uh, nothing <laughs> happens. Oh, thank God, you know. So oh. shit like this, but you know, I um, I'm always in pain after the jet ski ride. Yeah, I need yeah, some yeah. ice on my wrist, on my elbows, <laughs> in my neck, you know, because this is like yeah, yeah, hell. yeah. It's it's hard work on it. <laughs> well, you need you need to you need your adrenaline rush, you know. So when you're not squatting six hundred pounds for fifty reps, that, you know? that's probably it. Yeah, yeah. It is. no, you do. You have to replace it. You have to replace it. You need that kind of element of like risk and danger and uh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. you know. You so. know, better I do it on the water than on the street on a bike or so, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, or in some dodgy club. But you know, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, <laughs> Been there. I'm thinking about uh, getting a getting a bike. So, but I don't know. Be careful. Be be careful. Yeah, be stick careful. to jet skis. In fact, I saw, when I saw him in, because um, he came to the front row, I'm like, Dennis! I think one of the first things I asked him, I said, how's your jet skis? <laughs> 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 went, yeah, it's good, good. Uh, one last thing, it's a sad thing, but you know, you know Dennis Wolf's biggest fan, you know Michael Edwards? Yes. His brother died, remember? Oh, okay. So he's been really depressed. Can you say something to Mike? He's on yeah, our forums. He's, he he's, loves you. He loves the last you. time you said something and his brother died lately and he hasn't oh. been the same oh. since. And can you give him some words? Because yeah, he will listen to you. Yeah, Michael, uh, this is horrible to hear. My condolences to you and the family. And uh, wow, yeah, this is life. And uh, unfortunately, uh, things like this happen. And uh, I wish you and your family a lot of strength. Um, to overcome it, it yeah, um, you're supporting me so long, and, and uh, I just appreciate it, and that is, mm. honors me, and uh, thank you so much for everything, and I wish you all the best from my heart. 
Thank you. He will love that. I'll yeah. make a big difference, Dennis. That'll make a big difference. Yeah, we appreciate uh, that. Mm, yeah. yeah. And before you go, if we want to follow your show in Germany, is there a YouTube channel or a special Instagram account for that or so we can see how it is? Or is there any way for us to see how it is? Is there some way? Yes. Uh, if you want to see any infos, go to denniswoolclassic.com. Okay, cool. Get the tickets, athlete registration, everything. And, of course, we're going to do a lot of um, YouTube videos on my channel, um, uh, GN channel, and maybe Team Andro. So we'll oh, see. I'm not, oh, I'm not sure if they are coming, but uh, I, I guess they are going to be uh, covering the show, and I hope so. Mm -hmm. But anyways, if not, we have a lot of cameras or guys with the cameras around the show, and <laughs> that's hot. Well, you know, we have we me? expect so much, so much people, and so many guests, so so many. Uh, amateur legend, uh, legends, uh, professional legends, mm, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward and can't wait to meet everyone. Good, fantastic. Yep, I think that's I think that's yeah. everything, Dennis. Yeah, yep. uh, really appreciate coming on, mate, and it was great to see you in Vegas. And uh, we had a little, little selfie. I hope you have time <laughs> to come back on after Arnold and give you your review. Yes, of course. Anytime, yes. guys. Good, Thank good, you good, so good, 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 good. Jules, nice seeing you at Olympia. <laughs> uh, AJ, good talking to you. Good talking to you. <laughs> Always texting to you yeah. and uh, don't forget yeah, Chris. Don't forget Chris. Chris, <laughs> man, you are doing the most work, right? So, <laughs> you can't see him over the computer there, but <laughs> you guys are talking, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank, thank you, you. So much. I appreciate being on your show thank and you. uh, yeah, thank you. Love it. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Thank, so, thank you, Dennis. Nice. Bye bye. Take care, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Ah, uh, the legends! Oh, it's very like, for people at home. Uh, Dennis Wolf is it's, it's for me as a bodybuilder. Prestige. Uh, I'm not really okay. So classic men's physique and all that. It's nice. Uh, we need it in the industry to make the industry grow because yeah, it's yeah. not enough uh, open bodybuilders. Let whatever. So, but it, nope. I don't think I'll sit in 30 years remembering who got third at the classic division in New York Pro. Okay. Dennis Wolf. That uh, is how you become a legend. I just like legend I, I, Hall of Fame. You just, <laughs> you just said it there. You said it's nice to see them looking healthy, doing cardio. They're in shape. They look good. They they seem like I saw him at the Olympia, and he, he seemed he was really excited to be there. He was you know he was like you know people coming up to him. They still giving him a lot of respect, and um, it's great to see them involved and helping the next generation because these people have like these people are like seriously inspiring. If we gotta speak, if there's any rich guys out there who love bodybuilding, please looking for sugar daddy. Call Giles and AJ. Giles, hello Giles. Uh, give us a fund, and we'll. Can you imagine traveling around filming Dennis Wool Classic, yeah. filming Dennis James Classic, I was, I was all the around. amateur shows, yeah, 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 yeah. and putting it out and promoting bodybuilding? Yeah. If there are any rich guys out there, we would need no salary. Just give us plane ticket and camera, and we will do it for. for for the love of the sport. We need more promotion, Giles. When he talks about, yeah. can you imagine being in Germany? Yeah. Because well, I heard you want to say, can you go? I was, I was like, <laughs> yeah, but you Ge can't. Germany's not far, AJ. We can't promise it because we, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, we don't, maybe if we don't have the money, it's. Yeah, well, yeah. Yes, well, Germany's not far. So maybe we can, uh, yeah, I think we should find a way where we can actually start to cover more shows, amateur pros. Amateur shows and. and uh, yeah, cover these events and really, because, um, you know. Like he lives in Vegas and he's promoting shows in, in Germany. In Germany, like when he said about a show, I thought, oh, it's a show in Vegas. It's not a show in Vegas. Yeah, no, no, and he's Germany. like, no, I'm like in Germany. And Germany, I gotta say, that's the country where bodybuilding is. Yeah. That's much Marcus Rule, Germany. Ronnie Raquel. Mat what's a Beko Bekoff? Beko what's that tall guy? Uh, Matthias. I uh, can't remember. The guy was with Nutrix, also with Dennis Wolf. Botkov? Betkov? He oh, Matthias Botov. Yeah, he was oh, a yeah. big. Yeah. And he, won <laughs> he won the 2011 Arnold Amateur. Uh, pro, uh, big yeah, yeah. guy, huge, big, wide, and his uh, Reggie Anne de Silva, his yeah. uh, his wife or girlfriend or fiance, she was um, yeah, she was like second in the Olympia. Gunter and... Schlierkamp. Oh, how could we? How could we forget? Gunther? Well, sorry, look, missing. Who's the tall guy? Oh, Marcus Gunter Dennis. That's the only three that matter. The tall guy, Rolf Müller. Oh, Rolf Müller. Oh, you guess like late eighties now. Yeah, but come that's on, a come on. Conan. 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 Uh, the and it's also actor now. The big actor with the long blonde hair from Germany who's been in Hollywood for 40 years now. Eh. Can't remember him. 
Anyway, Dennis Wolf. <laughs> Dennis Wolf. What ultimate a legend. legend. <laughs> ultimate legend. Nothing more. Nothing more needs to be said. AJ. Yep. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that interview. Our little, uh, little update we have there. Some with other legends Dennis coming Wolf. on soon. We might have another couple of legends on. This <laughs> no, AJ. Oh, oh, right. This ain't no. <laughs> this ain't no. RX! <laughs> oh! No, no, no! Drop the mic! Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll be right back after the break with our next guest on MD Globe Muscle Radio. And we are out! And welcome back to MD Global Muscle Radio here at the Puppy in the Studios. Joined by my co-host, AJ, all the way from nowhere. And we're joined by... A proper, proper, like, yeah. this is the legend of legend on the female side, isn't it? Oh, Oksana Krishna. Krishna, wow. Woo! Another one off the tech list. Wow, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yes, we, we haven't. We were so happy you would say yes. Yes, because you are a proper, pro proper legend. How are you doing? Oh my God! Of course, guys, and thanks so much for having me. It's an honor for me. You know, I follow you, and I saw you have so many great guests. Mm. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about when you're gonna invite me, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oksana, Oksana, for the sake of our producer, can you just tell us how many Olympia titles you've won? I won four titles, four. Olympia titles, mm. and ten Arnold Classic uh, ten. titles. Ten Arnold Classic that, titles. That's almost not fair on the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us more about your history from the beginning. How, where did you turn pro? How was? Tell us more about your story. Mm. Uh, well, I was a gymnast. I was former gymnast for 12 years, and uh, then I started to compete in fitness since since uh, 2003. Mm. And uh, I become as a professional mm. from uh, since uh, in 2007. So mm. 2007 was my first pro debut mm. in the United States. What show? It was, oh, of course, I, I remember that so well. <laughs> <laughs> it was Europa Super Show. Okay. And I placed 14. I placed Ooh. 14. Wow. But surprisingly, I got a trophy for best performance routine. Ooh. So, yeah, because in fitness, there was different scoring. So, and more score was go to physique. Yeah. Round so yeah, and it was so surprisingly for me. I was just in shock to get trophy for best performance routine, and uh, I didn't speak at this moment. I didn't speak English at all. Oh, like wow. it was zero English. So that why that's why I was really surprised why they called me on the stage. Yeah, Oksana, what was your what would you say was your breakthrough year? Breakthrough years, yeah. Through well, the, years? The, the year where you really stepped up and was like, "Oh, this girl is really." Which something year special. did you turn us? What year was the year you started to win shows? Um, well, in my personal opinion, it was from my very first show. Okay. Because it wasn't about winning a trophy or title. Of course, it's great. It's great to be awarded. Mm. But every show I did, I was fighting with myself. I won. I was. I. I fight with myself, and I won every time. I step up every show, and uh, so that's why I think. Yeah, I couldn't. But my first victory, if you're asking this question, my first victory was 2014. Yeah. I think. Yeah, 2014 when I won my first uh, Arnold Classic. It was big. Big victory. Mm. Mm. We missed, we missed, we missed your Michael Jackson routine at this <laughs> Olympia. I was ready. If there was no Michael Jackson routines. Oh, I was very sad, very disappointed. Uh, did you watch this fitness? Uh, were you at, were you at the Olympia this year? Oh yes, yeah. I promote a new brand of fitness, Paul Fitness. Okay. Oh. Paul Fitness, yeah, at the Expo, and so of course I was there, and I I just love fitness. I love any new brands of uh, fitness activity because now it's so popular and so different. It's like Paul and Lyra, and I'm trying to be involved in every. Uh, in every new brand and learn it because it's so exciting 
And of course, I support all my girls, all fitness girls. I work with them. I work on their choreography. And uh, I help a lot of girls. Uh, some of them, of course, competed at the Olympia and they did a great job. Mm. So, yeah, it's just, um, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's my passion. I, I am a choreographer on my own and um, I love to help girls with uh, their routine and performance because I know how difficult it is to create something that people will remember. We wanted to know, because uh, we are uh, Missy Farrell fanboys, so can you tell us why Whitney uh, Jones, Whitney Jones, mm -hmm. what, uh, very good, and why did she beat Missy uh, at the Olympia? Can you give us, as an expert, what was the reason? And also, Minna Poyati, Mm -hmm. you, she was. She's been on the show, <laughs> yeah. and you prep her, correct? You help her routine, correct? Yes, yeah. yes. So, her yeah. routine was absolutely creative. Yeah, and I good, think she put everything into it. It was like a, it was like a Broadway show. You know, I mm -hmm. I really enjoy her routine, mm. and uh, you know, there's always there's always something. Um, you always have to put more work in your routine so people will not search for mistake but will enjoy watching you on the stage so it's it's got to be you got to be ready for 200 percent so you probably can deliver on stage your 100 you know and um uh, Whitney, Whitney is a good friend of mine yes. and uh, Missy is a good friend of mine I mean we are all sisters that's why I I don't want to I don't want to talk about anything, but generally, okay. Whitney bring extremely high energy on the stage. Mm. I know she have a lot of, uh, and uh, I know she have a lot of uh, injuries, and the package she bring. I mean, general, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was what people expected: higher energy. Uh, bad ass. <laughs> bad ass. <laughs> bad ass. Bad ass. Bad ass. I think it was actually kind of good with New York. I'm going like. to say that like tonight. I'm going to use it. Yeah, um, but of course, Missy Farrell, she's she have amazing potential, and I'm sure she she may be the next one, um, mm -hmm. Miss Fitness Olympia. So because she have great physique and her routine, she have everything, all, all knowledge in gymnastics. So uh, all she need to do is just sh next show, show something different, different Missy Farrell. What else she can do? Because judges and the audience always expect from us, okay, we saw it. You were Michael Jackson. What also you can do? And, uh, you know, so... Yeah, it's like it's tough. It's a lot of pressure, you know, from audience, from out, from fans, because they want more. They want more, more, more. You know, every time they see you, every time they expect you on stage. Oksana, there's a question I always like to ask. <clears throat> pardon me. All the uh, multiple Olympic champions, the ones that win more than one big, the biggest title in the world. I've asked this to Ronnie Coleman. I've asked it to Jay Cutler. What was your favorite? Olympia win and why? Oh wow, <laughs> they all my favorite. Come They're on, give us one, give favorite. us one. Why? Why? Uh, um, every prep is different. It's like it's it's a new show for me, and it's never been the same. Hmm. So that's why every Olympia title is different. The only thing I don't know, I think maybe the last one was special for me because i had my family my mom and dad in audience for the first time they saw me competing the first time and, and they see you on the uh, oh wow that's amazing yes it was absolutely <laughs> incredible and i still i think i still have this video on my instagram where my dad couldn't uh, hide uh you know his tears oh, wow. because he was like he, he was so proud. They were sitting on top and they saw audience, how they react on my routine yeah. and my mom face. I have never seen my mom face <laughs> being so proud. Yeah. And she was really proud and she was looking audience like, you know, wow, is it for my daughter? You know, mm. everything was on their faces and my dad couldn't hold his tears. It was, gosh, it was so touching. And I think 
that Olympia was very special to me because when I come up on stage, I know it was so much pressure, so much uh, from audience, from, you know, fitness girls. I mean, because and when you compete the last, it's it's really tough, you know, mm. it, it's really tough because everyone I saw backstage, some people sent me pictures and all girls was watching the video, I mean, screen, big screen, how I'm going to do, you know. And so, and when I come up on stage, I felt nervous, of course, uh, I'm human being. <laughs> mm. So, but when I step on stage, I'm like, okay, these people came to watch Olympia to watch the best competitors in the world and I love them so much mm. I really appreciate you know their being here and I came with love on the stage and it helps me so much with positive energy and I felt like something protected me on the stage just to do my job well mm. and I felt I told this to in many interviews that I never felt as confident us on this Olympia on the stage I felt great mm -hmm. I felt great I remember every single face when I when I when I perform and I just you know front on front of the road I just remember everything and it's so great I was just trying to remember my last Olympia like by small like by every piece mm -hmm. it was wonderful there's two huge stars in Russia at us in Norway, no. One is not even Russian, that's Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> and, the other, and the other one is Oksana. Is that where he lives, Russia? Uh, no, <laughs> he, he plays the Russian in oh, Russia. Oh, sorry. Come on, sorry. 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 I was like, he lives in Russia? Yeah. What, what are you oh. So there's some rumors that the IFBB Pro League is taking over Russia now. Oksana, what? Isn't, isn't there a show coming up in <laughs> Russia <laughs> now? They've got a secret weapon. Yeah. Isn't, yes, there, isn't there a I'm show so you're putting on now? Yes, I'm so excited. Me and Chris Minas, our promoter, yeah, uh, USA right promoter, right we right put on the show on November 30 in Moscow. It's going to be international pro qualifier. So we're mm. going to give seven pro cards to the winner, overall winner. Wow. And, oh my God, I'm just so excited, guys, because as a Russian, to give this opportunity to Russian mm -hmm. athletes, yeah. it's just amazing. When I when I told this idea uh, and my goal to Chris, he said, yes, let's do it. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, and I just, uh, I already heard from so many Russian athletes how thankful they are and appreciative to Germanian for you know for a proof and give us this chance um to you know to get pro cards for russian athletes because i know there is so many great athletes and yeah, right yeah. now in this situation they don't have any opportunity you know um so yes we are so excited and you guys welcome which classes which classes are you offering pro cards okay to? we have all classes except wellness new division wellness okay. so it's bodybuilding uh, men's men's physique classic men's classic bodybuilding figure fitness bikini uh physique men's uh, woman's physique yeah. so all classes female bodybuilding yes. too female bodybuilding too no, I don't think we have female bodybuilding. Okay, but can maybe yeah, next year, maybe next year. <laughs> and here, everybody can, uh, you don't have to be from Russia to compete there, correct? No, yeah. yes, it just, if they want, they get pro card. And this is for the first year. Of course, next year it will be more difficult for them to get pro card because we're going to start from regional shows first and qualify for... Yeah. Pro qualifier and that's show. very important for the athletes out there now you have to do regionals usually yeah, then the and, nationals. and then the national so it's harder yes. here now in russia this is the first show there's no regionals brilliant so that means guys yes guys Seize. this is this is really important this could be it yeah and especially our Absolutely. Good, and our good friend from russia dimitri in classic oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah he yeah. has got to do do you know him yeah, dimitri yeah. the guy who does classic He's pro, isn't he? Yes, yes. Dmitry, his uh, last name. Oh, no, he's what already a pro. Name? He's already a pro. Sorry. 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 He's, sorry. He's already a pro. I forgot it. He's yeah. already a pro. <laughs> he's doing quite well as well. Yeah. So he's pro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 
I know all Russians who are poor. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Trust Especially, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And it's just nice. You know, it's just so great opportunity to help Russians, yeah. you know. Especially for me, because I'm, I'm originally from Russia and I'm proud of it because I am who I am because I came from Russia. And uh, with my you know, uh, with my skills and uh, with my mentality, I'm tough on myself. Mm. I tough on my friends, mm. of course, too. <laughs> but that's only that's only what can give result. You know, yeah. you got to be honest sometimes with people and just tell them the truth. Otherwise, you know. <laughs> it just, doesn't they can't help. get they can't get better. Can just they? one question since you know all the Russians. Is there any inside information of Alec Lesukov? You know Alexander Lesukov? Alexei Lesukov. Yeah. Where's him? Is, yes. is, is he competing soon or do you know anything about him or I haven't heard from him for a while. Bec uh, I think last time we competed together in Spain okay. when yeah. Arn when there was Arnold Classic. Yeah. Oh. It was I think 2016 oh, or a long time 16, okay. yeah, yeah or 15, years. yeah. I think it's 2015. And uh, so I really I, I I hope he's gonna come back. Mm -hmm. I I hope because I haven't seen him compete for oh, a while. Okay. So and uh, yeah, well, you know, when you're so young. It just you got to understand that it's time. You need time. Mm. You need time to get better because it's it, it, when you when you got your trophy very first, and uh, it just doesn't make you be a great athlete with good future. Sometimes you have to understand all this all road that you know to become a really humble champ he, <laughs> humble he's probably and, only about sorry to interrupt he's probably in about i was just working out the math there about eight years two he's probably about 30 31 so he could still have plenty of time to come back mm -mm. yes yes he's young okay. he's young and i'm sure so for, yeah i'm sure he's for people in america yeah. who want to learn from you where can we go because you teach fitness uh routines how do people contact you and where can you teach them and how can we contact um, for girls that want to learn fitness routines from you? Well, uh, usually I work with girls one on one because for me it's very important to see the personality of girls. Pictures is one thing, video is one thing, but when you see person in one on one, mm. and there can be so much more, <laughs> and it helps me to create routine, which uh, you know from the person like who she is and advice what will be better for her mm. like let's say Mina in a perfect example and she is huge girl you yeah, saw her she's right she's girl. muscular I hugged her and she's big <laughs> yes, yes and I always telling her that girl you got to choose superhero you got to be superhero girl some fight or something because that's who you are that's how mm. people see you mm. you know she's she's boom yeah. <laughs> but of course i understand her uh her passion she like to do some lyric stuff some beautiful from her rhythmic gymnastics background you know and yeah this is great yes but it's not who you are you know what I mean? So that's why for me, and uh, I'm sure next next routine, she's going to be some superhero girl, <laughs> mm -hmm. which people expect her to be. So this is just very important for me to work one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, girls usually flying to Los Angeles. And I have a gym uh, here where I can, you know, work with them and create routines. Yeah, and uh, of course they can. They know where to find me. It's my website www.oksanafitness.com. So simple, or my Instagram Oksana Grishina. <laughs> last, last thing before we go. You're looking very youthful. What's your training and diet these days? Because she's looking like she, uh, she's 25. <gasps> oh wow! Okay, I'll tell you. It's just staying positive and love people. Oh. <laughs> oh, she on the Max Michael Jackson train in uh, the. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Michael yeah, Jackson's yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Positivity, yeah, well, positivity. Yeah, you mean? Like yeah. Yeah. Well, I still train hard, you know, and I tr I think I train even harder when I used to compete because right now I work on new skills and I just enjoy training. And training, it's like um, you know, for me, it's it's a uh, therapy. Therapy, mm. they pronounce yeah. right? Yeah. Therapy, therapy from, yeah. from, from, yes, it's like, um, 
how to say, it helps me to get over stress and mm. everything. Mm. It just, uh, I just really feel so good after every training. So that's why it's like drugs, <laughs> you know, <laughs> drugs for me. Yeah, yeah. So I cannot be without it. And especially as a guest performer now, of course, I have to impress audience and just show them something new. So that's why I'm in full process of training. Mm. You will perform a guest posting routine in Russia in your first show? Well, not this time because oh. I have a lot of work to do oh, okay. for first show, yes. Okay. But yeah. maybe uh, we're planning to do another show in my home city. Okay. My home city where I was born. Mm. And it's just so beautiful city on Baltic Sea. Baltic sea. And uh, so that's where I really want to guest perform for people, you know, for people where, in my city where I was born. Mm. And it's just gorgeous city. It's beautiful. So my dream is perform live mm. there. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming on. We 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 really appreciate, really appreciate it. it. Yeah, well, now now we have AJ, another one off the tick list. Yeah, yeah, the big names, yeah. the big names, and <laughs> people. Let's. We're looking forward to see the Russian show, and it's going to be exciting to see what talent will come out of Russia next. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Thank you, and you guys invited. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Oksana. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, That's yeah, very yeah, kind. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oksana Grishina, four-time Olympic champion. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to come on, and it's uh, it's uh, really really pleased. Mm. Really really happy to have you on. Real, it's a real honor. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Oksana. Bye Thank bye. You so much. Thank bye you. bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank bye you. Bye. Wow. I love the accent. What a cool accent. So I'm just saying. And welcome back to MD Globe Muscle Radio here at the Pump Meter Studios, joined by my co-host, AJ, all the way from Norway. And we're joined by, all the way from New York, the Brooklyn Beast, Akeem Williams! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Finally! Akeem, good to see you, mate. Oh. How are you? Oh, it's great seeing you guys, man. Uh, Olympia. <laughs> okay, although uh, throughout the year, I've been sending you some DMs, I was uh, irritated irritated each time you get second place because i yeah. for some strange reason they like to whatever <laughs> uh, you did not win this year but you sure hell made an impact out the yeah yeah oh, man <laughs> this very wow good. very very good eighth place at the mr olympia contest how are you feeling ninth ninth well ninth. Eight? Actually, it was ninth place. You just, just dropped sorry. him down a place, AJ. Well, I hadn't beaten yeah. Lucas, so I'll make my own. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> How do you feel? Well, believe it or not, you know, I, I, I'm looking at the scorecard, and my scores at prejudging was really, I, I am literally was between that fifth, sixth, seventh spot. Really? Wow. Really? You look at the scorecard, and you go back to the night show, and literally I went from, Having better scores than pretty much Cedric McMillan, who beat mm -hmm. me, mm. uh, Lucas, who beat me. I had better scores than them. And then you come to the night show, and my, I ended up in ninth place. So it was a little interesting trying to figure that out, you know? Akim, I saw you at the Arnold Classic, and you stood right next to Brandon Curry on stage. You mm -hmm. were, uh, because we, we, we had, uh, I saw you at breakfast at the Arnold Classic next morning. Uh, you and your partner, and you said you were 265 yep. there, and I, because I knew you were, was it 249 on stage, 249 pounds at the Toronto when you took second mm -hmm. the year before. So I said mm -hmm. to you at the Arnold Classic, I said like, okay, the morning after, I said, okay, you're 265 there, you really need to be under 250 to be really, really, really conditioned. Now, mm -hmm. fast forward now to the Olympia, I was at the, um, you know, everyone eats, the, the place where everyone eats at the restaurant and the hotel, yeah. and mm -hmm. Ger Gerard came over, Gerard Dente, your sponsor from MHP, yeah, and he comes and I said, "Oh, um, how, how's Gerald, uh, how's uh, Akeem looking?" And he went, "Oh man, he's going to be top five, top five. I went, oh really? That's fantastic!" I said, "Oh, so he's in, he's in condition." And I was like, "So what's he going to be?" And I was thinking, two forty to two fifty to be sure. And he goes, "Guys, he's going to be, he's two six five. He says, "I've just looked at him, looks fine." I went, and I'm, I'll be honest, my heart sunk a bit because I was like, "Hang on a minute, two six five, he's not going to be on. He's not going to be on." So when you walked out a pre-judging, uh -huh. and you were a two sixty five treaded 
I honestly, I was just, <laughs> I was like, that's basically like the guy has just gained 20 pounds of muscle and you're in condition. So honestly, mate, oh. what, I was so happy to see that. That for me, you and Patrick Moore, that was two of the, the best things I'd seen in that show. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it. it it's, it's pretty funny because uh, after New York, which I played second, I think I was in New York. I was about 247 in New York. But I, I really, you know, I suffered a lot. You know, I lost a lot of muscle, you know, just doing all those shows and everything like that. So me and my coach, Oscar Arden, we took a little bit of time off to, like, you know, regroup and just replenish the muscle and stuff like that. And uh, we started the prep at around 270. Wow. Mm, okay. That's a great what, what, starting What point. sort of condition? What sort of condition? I was, I look like crap. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. I did look like crap. Because I was eating everything inside, you know. <laughs> I, I, I was a little bit of a fat boy, you know. Because mm. I, I was so mentally drained at that time. My coach was just like, you know what? Just relax. Eat whatever you want to eat and, and relax, you know. Yeah. Once mm. time to prep for the Olympia, eight weeks out, I, you know, we're going to do it. Yeah. So eight weeks out, we started the prep at 270. Eight. We got to Las Vegas. Yeah. I did an eight week prep. What? Mm. Yeah. How'd you go from 270 soft to 265 shredded? Tell us. Well, this is this is the funny part about it. <laughs> I got we got to Las Vegas at 270. We started the prep at 270, and the whole prep I stayed at 270. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What? You did a Kevin Navrone. Yeah. Mm. Literally, I was putting on muscle. Wow. I was getting harder. After a while, I got frustrated because my weight wasn't dropping, but I was looking different. So I told my coach, I was like, I'm not gonna look at the scale anymore. Yeah. I'm tired of looking at scale. I don't want to step on a scale anymore because it wasn't making any sense, you know? So you were just, basically, your body composition was just changing. You're, you're losing yes. fat and gaining muscle. Yes. So what, what, yes. was, what was different with this prep as opposed, because like you said, you were 240, 247 at New York Pro and you, you still weren't really, you weren't, you weren't as good a condition as you were at the Olympia, but you were 18 yeah. pounds heavier. So what, mm. what, what, what changed? What was different? I, I think my body just needed some rest. Okay. You know? And regroup and everything like that. Plus, you know, I've been working with Oscar for like almost three years now. So we finally figured out the formula. We know what we have to do to get in shape. So we it's can... only going to get better from here on. Come on, elaborate. You know? elaborate. What Tell does that more. mean? What yeah. does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, spill I, the beans. I spill the beans. I, I, I can't give away any secrets, man. Uh, give, us, give us away a, 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 couple of, a couple of principles. Just the main differences in those preps. Even if it's just a mental change. Anything. Uh, definitely a mental change, you know. It's the whole process of just believing that you're as good mm -hmm. as people might perceive you to be. Because sometimes, you know, you lack that self-confidence. And for a while, I know I was a good bodybuilder, but mentally, I wasn't there, you know? Mm -hmm. Mentally, I wasn't there to basically do the extra hour cardio yeah. or basically do those extra reps in the gym and stuff like that. I would, I would top out, you know? And so that mental process has changed a lot. And I truly, honestly believe in myself. And I, I believe that one day I'm going to be Miss Olympia. Because I met Oscar in Romania last year mm. and just talked to him for 10 minutes. The way he speaks and connects with you and looks you into your eyes. And he's a really motivational person, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Like even yes, yesterday, you know, we didn't, we didn't take any, uh, we didn't take our foot off the gas because I'm going to do the Arnold in March. Okay. Oh, fantastic. And we literally, we got, we got right back in the gym already, oh, started training for the brilliant. Arnold. So, I mean, some, sometimes people can see um, you strength in the gym as a gauge for like, I'm going to be a lot better in this show than I was in this show a few months ago. So were you, yeah. I know you're, you are known as like the strongest pro bodybuilder, but were you like, what, were you squatting 10 plates instead of eight? <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, were you, for the, compared to say the New York pro, what, what sort of poundages were you hitting more poundages in the gym? Because sometimes you can think, oh, I, I think I'm going to be a lot better this time. I think we, we, for this for this prep, we did a lot more supersets. Especially, my, my problem has always been my back. Yeah. Getting my back in that condition. Yeah, get dry. So for this for this prep, we did a lot more drop sets and supersets. Yeah. Mm, mm. yeah. Who's strongest? And I think that definitely made a difference. Who's yeah. strongest, you or Luke Sandow? <laughs> ah. I, I'm not going to start anything, but I think I got some more impressive lift than him. <laughs> like, I'll put like, it on the record. Like what? Like what? Which one? Well, I actually did nine nine hundred pounds before, so unless I seen you put up a video where you squatted nine hundred pounds, you squatted you know, nine hundred pounds. Nine hundred pounds. Is it on video? I got it on video. Is it on video? Well, like just one yes. one rep or one rep. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's quite heavy. Is that on your YouTube series? You used to film with Ge uh, Generation I, I did. So I, I did it when I was signed with uh, Blackstone Lab, so they they have all the footage and stuff like that. Wow, nine hundred pounds, huh? Hmm. That's 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 quite impressive. <laughs> so now this is your big show, I would say. This is your best placement yeah. in a big show. Yeah. 
is this get you more motivated now for Arnold? Oh, uh, it, de it definitely uh, increased my appetite, increased my hunger to win, man. Well, not for food, I you hope, know? but for the win. Huh? Not for food. Not for the win. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. So yeah. that, that 2020 Arnold Classic, I'm going in there for the win. Wow. So, so what have you have you and Oscar set out a game plan for the Arnold Classic of like okay, we, because like like literally, uh, based upon how I saw it, the Arnold Classic in condition, you'd have been about two forty five. Now you're bringing to the Olympia two six five and and the best condition I've seen you in certainly. So, what's the mm -hmm. game plan for the Arnold in terms of your physique, your body weight? Well, we definitely want to bring up my shoulder some more, cap the the more the delts more capped out, you know, stuff like that, and uh. Just improving my back, you know. I made a lot of improvements on my back for this Olympia prep. Yeah. And I think with a few months of consistent training with Arnold, with um, Oscar, mm -hmm. we'll have an amazing back for the Arnold Classic. I noticed your, um, because your midsection at the Arnold back in March, it was a bit, but it wasn't like that at the Olympia. It was tighter. Did you did you take steps to rectify that? Oh, yeah, man. I, I'm definitely training. I, you know, when I started bodybuilding, I hate training abs. I didn't <laughs> train abs. I didn't believe in training abs. Yeah. But now, you know, with the way bodybuilding has evolved, and yeah. you pretty much see everybody has a six pack on stage now. Yeah, you know you, you got to get with it. You know, you know you look at Sean Roden, yeah. you look at Brandon Curry. You know they all have really good abs, so mm. you have to start training abs. You know. Yeah, just I, I think with your kind of structure, the wide shoulders, the narrow waist, and the you know the narrow hips, and then the huge core, it just sets off the physique perfectly. Because otherwise, it just looks like a, it it, it just adds to the picture. You know. So what what did yeah. you think? What, what was uh, what was it like? Uh, was this your favorite Olympia you've done, or like, what was it like being in this Olympia? Well, the, actually, back in 2016 when I did it, I think it was a lot different. This mm -hmm. time, I, I, I didn't really like the production that much. I'm not going to be honest. I'm going to oh, be honest. Really? What I didn't really like the production that much. I think we were rushed. And the fact that uh, I'm, I'm honest, you know, yeah, yeah. the fact that they didn't call the top 10 out on stage, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I really felt a little bit like, I wouldn't say disrespected, but I, I, I lost a little bit of, you know, that mm -hmm. competitive because, you know, being top 10 at Olympia should be a huge accomplishment. Agree. And to only call out the top five, I thought that was like, you know, a little bit disrespectful to competitors, you know? I agree. Mm -hmm. There should be more comparisons with this because they compared the first one to four a lot. But they did not compare you guys a lot, do they? Yeah, no, they didn't compare us a lot. No. But, you know, what I, what I would say, you know, Hats off to uh, Brandon Curry for winning the Miss Olympia, you know? Mm -hmm. He did an amazing job. I had the opportunity to... Uh, be his roommate back in 2016 out in Kuwait. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, you were in Kuwait. Kuwait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was so, that like? What was that like? How was that like? Uh, it was great, man. We had a great time, you know. We, we trained. <laughs> we played video games. You know, it was a great time, you know. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I said, actually, from the... Because um, I, I covered the Arnold Classic for MD. And I said, because um, Brandon was number one that came out. And you were the second competitor, weren't you? You were right next to him on stage. And I said in the play-by-play, -play, I said, do you know what? I said, because I, I, I had a feeling Brandon was going to win it. I said, There's, if you look at Akeem, he's got the same kind of muscle thickness and roundness. He just wasn't in, you just didn't have the same kind of condition that Brandon had in that show. But I said, mm. so basically saying, in condition, and you know, that there's a very, there's a, there's a lot of similarities in physiques there. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like he was miles ahead. It was just like he was in condition and you weren't kind of in your best condition, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. All I know is Akeem Williams is the biggest man in the <laughs> IFBB Pro League almost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hang, so on, if, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, hang have on. you seen him? Did you see him at the Arnold Classic? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we just <laughs> want to see the condition, Hakeem. Yeah. We just want to see the condition. Hakeem, I, I, I think the best oh. the best shot for me, I think the one that I think um, I saw online was the was your side, your side shots. Because oh. everything, and your intercostals, your quads, I've never seen that detail in your physique before. That's a... And everything, I was just like, yeah, I just that, that was a real... That's where I could really see the improvements that you made. You must be so happy with that. Oh, yeah, but I definitely, that's one of the shots, you know, we've been practicing a lot. You know, I've been trying to work on my strength when it comes to posing and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what, what poses we'll look about. best on me. And I, I think, you know, finally figuring out a formula, like certain poses I wouldn't hit. I had a really good, I don't know if you saw the picture that just uh, went viral backstage. Mm -hmm. That's the most one? muscular shot. No, we haven't seen you know, it. Strategy no. quads and everything like that. Okay, okay. No, I haven't seen it. Where can we see that? On your, your, your you Instagram? can check it out on my IG. Or, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, okay. it went viral, you know. It, uh, must, um MHP posted it and everything like that. They're going to use it in a campaign for me Fantastic. and everything like that. Mm. It's a really amazing shot. Fantastic. You see that shot, you'd be like, wow. So, and so I felt like what I looked like backstage at Olympia, mm -hmm. it didn't really transfer on the stage. I felt like the light was hurting me a lot. Right, okay. Because so I look a lot drier and harder backstage. Mm. If you look at that picture and you look at the pictures on stage, you can see a difference in the condition. So obviously Gerard was happy with that, yeah? 
with your placing yeah, yeah, and how you yeah, looked. Definitely. And yeah, because because like he said, he was like, whoa, he was just absolutely, he was so excited. He goes, I've never seen Akeem looking like this. He said, I'm so excited. He's going to be top five. And I was like, wow, okay, okay. Mm. But like I said, when I said, you said your body weight, and I was like, oh no, it's going to be condition <laughs> that is not going to be the best version of you, Akeem. That's what, that's what I'm hinting at. You to, know? to be the total yeah. package, uh, we need to see what about your routine? How much are you practicing that? That that's that's something I gotta work on a lot more, you know. That yeah. whole routine. Like I never I never really took it serious. Do you have to you have to, Akim? And, and do like a really good traditional, you know, like classical posing routine, like that's something like that. Please, please. But something something I definitely gotta keep working on. It, it's got it's gotten better. I, 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 it's gotten better. But that dance you did, when did you get the inspiration to do that dance? Remember that dance? <laughs> <laughs> That dance was epic. I, where did you get through? What ha when you did that dance? You remember that? Was that off? Yeah, the yeah. Boss. spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. Did that, uh, uh, what, what were you thinking when you did that routine? I would, I would, I would never do that on stage again. <laughs> Why did you do it? You just thought, let's do the. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, you just want to do something crazy and just did it. Does yeah, it you know, you, sometimes you just gotta just throw yourself in the fire and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> What, tell us what sort of style of dancing that is. Is that, that, a, was some, uh, is that New York dancing? Uh, Vince Taylor was crying in his bed when he saw that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Arnold Classic, yeah? You feel it. Because remember, uh, Big Ram is doing it. Flexitron, if everything works out on his private affairs, oh, he will doing be doing it. it. Steve Kuklo. Well, Steve Kuklo. Sergio. Sergio. Who do we just have on? Some big what names. What I have to say is... Patrick I'm not Moore? missing any body parts. That's I'm not true. missing any body parts. That's and a, all yeah. I have to do is come in condition. So, you know, the sky's so, the limit, man. Yeah. So the Arnold Classic, have you got any other? Because I know you, because you do, how many shows have you done this year? Or oh, many. Six? I did, I did. Uh, I think it was six or seven. Six, wow. yeah. So do you, do you find, you, um, do, you, do you like competing a lot, a lot or do you, would you rather just do one or two? I probably would want to do one or two and prep for the Olympia. Yeah, agree. You know. So what's the pl but, what's the absolute plan for 2020 apart from the Arnold Classic? Anything else? Maybe I really would like to win the title in New York. Yeah, New York, New York yeah, Pro. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Especially because you came second this year, and yeah. you see, like I actually said on the play by play, I said if um the the, the condition you brought, I, th I think I said it in the wrap up as well, the wrap up video, uh, with Flex Wheeler and and Hanny Rambot. I said like I said if if Akeem brings that kind of condition. I said he could win at least a couple of pro shows next year, which will give you good momentum going into next year's Olympia and get you in that top yes. six. And also it's fun because New York is a big bodybuilding town and Juan Morel had that title and right. then John, the, like John, Juan Morel, Akeem, who's the best find out once and for all, you know, that's exciting. We all came up together, you know, me, John and Juan, you know, we used to train together all the time and everything like that. We pretty much started. They, I mean, they're a little bit ahead of me, you know. Yeah. They both turned pro before me, but we all trained and everything like that together. So, but who, we always have that competitive spirit. We're friends, but we still like to compete, you know. And who beat who at this Olympia? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you beat John in eleventh, and uh, Juan Morel was what thirteenth, fourteenth, fourteenth. But John 14th. and uh, uh, Juan Morel had two pro wins this season, though. That's so it, it, it's equal then, you know? It's yeah, the three New York boys. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is something we could build for the New York Pro. Yeah, yeah New York Pro would be good, yeah. yeah. I'd love to see yeah. you win Listen, that. Cause... So, some, sometimes, as a warrior, it's not about winning the war. It's about how many battles you could go through and still stand. Yeah. That's true. It's Akeem going to be the last man standing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Akeem, Akeem, I would like to see you maybe. Do you not fancy going back to Toronto as well? Because that's where Juan beat you there, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, I will yeah. also. I I I, uh, I got. I had a. Believe it or not, I think my best package for this year would have been uh, on a Brazil. If I show you some of the pictures, you missed I your have, flight. You, you missed so? your flight, you didn't you? So? Did you so? Yeah. Yeah. He if missed I show you some of the pictures I have for the Honor Brazil, you would not believe the way I was looking leading really? up to that show. What what kind and, of uh, what kind of body weight? I didn't though? know I had to get a visa. Yeah. I didn't uh, know I had to get a visa to go to Brazil, and literally they turned me away. You know, and I got frustrated. I got pissed off because I thought I couldn't make the flight. So I would never tell my coach that, but I can say it on camera right now because it's over with. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I had a box. <laughs> I had a big box of muffins, <laughs> and I was so pissed off. I started eating all the muffins. Oh really? <laughs> Did you look worse or better after it? Huh? Did you look worse or better right, right after it? 
No. I, I think I looked worse because I was in. I eat the whole box of muffins, and he was like, "I'm gonna eat muffins in there." <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Because sometimes you yeah. can look better when you fill out and junk loads. And then so after, after, after I found like... out, Sorry, somebody mate? gave us a call and they told us we could get a same day visa. Mm. Oh no! Yeah, so I already did the damage, and I actually still went and got the same day visa. Showed up two hours before the show, got, it. got on stage, and still placed third place. I know third place. Wow. Yeah, Esa Ubi out in fourth, and uh, yeah, Juan Morel Brandao. First and second, eh? Yeah, because, wow. yeah, you yeah. know, I, I was bloated, I was bloated, like, holy water from the flight. Yeah. We didn't right. get a chance to cut water or anything like that. We just stepped on stage. Yeah. Just stand on step on stage. We didn't cut water, nothing. <laughs> and I still placed top three. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it so, was, it was, that way right, right there was a very great experience for me, showing how basically uh, mentally focused I am to actually finishing what I started, you know? Yeah. Mm. Let's talk, I mean, I've, I've spoke to Ronnie Coleman about how he used to keep his poundages right up to the... Because, you, you know, if the strength there, he would still use it. You're kind of in that mold of the power, the power bodybuilder that can squat 900 pounds. I mean, that's not bodybuilding. That's not a bodybuilder poundages. That's like a, that's like a world champion power lift. You know, the, the yeah. world... was it? A thousand pound is like around the world record. So you're like, you're knocking on like serious numbers. I mean, do you, do you, do you train like a power bodybuilder right up to the day of a show? No, well, since I started training with Oscar, we changed up a lot of things, but I don't really train like that anymore. Yeah. I can still, like, even when we're training and you put heavy weights on, I can still move the heavy weights relatively easy. Yeah. But we don't really focus on, like, moving 700 pounds, 800 pounds. You know, I don't need to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. I just like to focus on Very the reps good. and, you know, good. really depleting that muscle to, uh, Get that muscle condition, you know. Very good, because the we follow you for a long time, and that strong man, uh, want to say gimmick, but that strong man thing that was around you, it, it doesn't win any shows. It's, it's no, it doesn't. It doesn't win any shows. Not, as far as as far as social media, yeah, and as okay. Far as Instagram, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it's it's not. Yeah, but it's nice if you've got the strength and you want to do it for a photo shoot or yeah, a video. Yeah. But I mean, like. All the best bodybuilders are uh, the ones that cycle their training. The ones yeah. that will go for okay. I'm gonna have a uh, like Phil. Phil he told us in 2013 he did like a like a couple of months where it was just six to eight reps and heavy weight basic movements, and then they switch the training up and they kind of you know and that that kind of brings the best out of their physique. Is that what you do? You kind of cycle your training like supersets? Yeah, we have, that's what we started doing with Oscar. You know, mm. Oscar. Good. I'm not. I have to say, man, he's. He's a, a magician of uh, what he does, man. And a lot of people don't give him enough credit, but is he there? when it comes to training and knows about bodybuilding, man, he's pretty much the best in my eyes. Is he there in your house? No, 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 no. no. Okay, okay. I just saw somebody walk around. Out of here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, we just wanted to have you on because we were, uh, first of all, we tried to reach out for a long time, but uh, you're a big, yeah, you big, know, I, I, <laughs> big superstar yeah, now. You're yeah. a big superstar now, now so we, uh, we're really, really happy that finally you shined on the big stage. Yeah. It was really exciting. Yes. I had you a, a couple places higher. Um, I had him beating Cedric. I, I had him beating I, 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 had, I had everyone beating Cedric. <laughs> oh. No, you didn't tell me. What did you say? I said, I said everyone beaten Cedric. I said, I had you beaten Cedric, and he said, I had everybody beaten Cedric. But the no, because point... he wasn't in condition. He wasn't in contest condition. No. no so uh, he was we, a fantastic body. I think this is use this momentum, yeah. please, Akim, for Arnold. Yes. Because um, a big man with strength is what the fans want in a bodybuilder. But we need to see the condition, of course. And I'll be <laughs> praying that you will deliver it for Arnold. Oh, Arnold yes. Classic. And yeah, oh, yeah, do you know, because yeah, yeah. I remember, like I said, I saw you at the Arnold Classic and I was like, look at that guy. He's got, it's like, when you, like you said, you're not missing any body no, parts. No, it's just, no body parts. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest then, I still would like to see a little bit more refinement in the back. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. we... Yeah. Because you've got such an amazing looking thick back. It's just... Imagine if you had the kind of Ronnie Coleman detail from the back. It'd be game over. There'd be... I mean, it literally would be like... I a mean, lot of people need that though. Yeah, well... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, but, yeah, you're making a step forward with the mm. physique. There was, like I said, in, in, in a lot of the... was huge improvements. But I think for those... Those kind of things is what I would see. That would really... That would really make you a threat for every single show you enter. And I mean, every single show. Where can oh, people... Where can people follow you, sponsors, so and so? Uh, definitely. I mean, I'm I'm mostly available on uh, my Instagram. You know, I be pro Kim Williams on Instagram. Or well, I also have a Facebook, but I don't really use Facebook that much. I use Instagram a lot more. Yeah. yeah and yeah. sometimes you get a lot of weird messages on Facebook, so I try to stay away. Yeah. <laughs> you get them uh, Indian guys DMs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't. Or the old white women who wants a young uh, sex machine like Akeem, you know, uh, text that's, that's the message I get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and MHB also, yeah, we want to thank MHB. Yeah, I definitely want to thank my sponsors, MHB, man. They've been behind me 100%, you know, Gerard Dente, you know, Good He's guy. an amazing owner. Also, I consider him a friend, you know, and I want to say a like, huge thank you to him. I just uh, recently got off of the extension with my contract, another two-year contract. So wow. I'm just Brilliant. blessed to be a Brilliant. part of such a really good company. Well deserved also. That's yeah. good. Good to see the open guys, you know, properly supported mm. there with yeah, good, yeah. with really good yeah, companies. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. Gerard, honestly, I spoke to him and he was so excited when he'd see, he, I think he'd just literally seen you in your hotel and he was like, oh my God. He was like so pumped, you know, he's like, he's really looking... It was just, and I, I got me excited then. So, yeah, but, man, he, he's been, this whole Olympia prep, he's been wow. like in the loop with me and Oscar the whole time. Mm. We, we had a, actually a, a WhatsApp um, group chat called Operation Olympia. Love it. And we were going back and forth, you know, I was sending pictures, let me know what he think and stuff like that. So he's been really supportive and I, I couldn't ask for a better company to sponsor me. And, yeah. you know, show me how much you appreciate bodybuilding and show me how much they appreciate what we do. Yeah. And, you know, just their backing as, a, as far as a supplement company, I'm truly grateful for being a part of that team. Mm. Akim, um, I, I think it's a really nice way to end your year with six shows. You know, you, you're kind of going out on top, really, with that with the, with, with the look you brought. It was the it's the all-time best Akeem that we've wanted to see. You know, in all those shows previous, I was like, oh, you know, and then you brought it. I was like, yes. So it really gives you a lot of momentum, and I think it really builds a lot of excitement for next year for you and for all the Open guys, because now you're going into the Arnold Classic as a real as a real threat for the win. Mm. A real yeah, threat. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 real threat. I mean, I'd be, you know, first call out, you know, it'd be, it'd be very, very exciting seeing you, Sean, Rami, and I just... Yeah, mm. yeah, totally. Yeah, I, and I, I, Rami and Sean can't make Akeem look well, small. I, <laughs> no one can make I, I Akeem. Think, look I think, small. I think, if, since Rami's in the show, I probably have to improve my legs again. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's got. Well, yeah, well, I don't. He's, he lacks separation, but um, we'll see. Worry he, about, nah, it's, worry it's, about it's, it's, yourself it's, 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 only, Akeem. Don't worry about them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I always focus on me. Whenever I do a show, I don't really care about whoever is competing. You know, mm. I try to be the best I could be, and that's it, man. Come on. And go easy. I put on... that blinders on and just focus on me. Come on. And go easy on you those nine hundred pound squats, Bikel. You don't want you don't need to don't need you tearing something <laughs> no, right no. for the Arnold. So uh, I think no, Oscar... no, no. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't do anything like that crazy. Matter of fact, whenever we train, me and Oscar, we do legs. Mm -hmm. We always squat at the end, so I don't go too heavy. So I'm so exhausted. Good. You know, we use lighter weights. I don't have to go as heavy. You know. Good. Good. Yeah. No, it's exciting. Really good. Um, yeah, very excited, Akeem. Mm. Uh, well, thank you for coming on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all the best for 2020, mate. And hopefully we'll get you on again uh, before or after the Arnold. So that'd be good. Uh, mm. Thank you guys so much, man. Thanks for having me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Akeem. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, Fantastic. What a beast. Akeem Williams, the beast. <laughs> what a monster. Honestly, when I saw him at the Arnold Classic, because I think that's the, that's the first time I think I'd seen Akim in the flesh on stage competing. Mm. I was so impressed with his muscularity. So oh. impressed. But it's like, you know, like Dexter Brandon, he was like all refined. And, you know, it was just like, it got the same kind of round, full muscle, but it was just, he needed tidying up. Mm. you know and then he came on stage at Olympia and I just went it's like we did with Patrick Moore I was like yeah he's done it he's pulled it out he's pulled it out the bag he's made the improvements 265 I mean that's like in condition that's like a good 15 20 pound that's like he did a Sean Clarida mm. isn't it that like him putting that kind of muscle on is what Sean Clarida did in the 212 so you're talking real serious improvements and these are real gym warriors, these guys. Is these Gerard, hard workers. Is Gerard Dent a little bit like Steve Blackman? Do they have any similarities? Like the passion, love for the sport yeah, and yeah, yeah. enthusiasm. And yeah, no, I only heard good things about Gerard Dente. He's a good guy. Always, yeah, always very, uh, very polite, um, lovely guy, actually. Mm. Good, support of the, good support of the industry, uh, the athletes, and uh, very good company as well, because he has uh, Victor Martinez as well. Maria Pellegrino, we Pelle had on the show. Mariella Pellegrino, the bikini girl. Yeah, mm. she didn't place at the Olympia. I was quite surprised. Mm. She looked very good. But she won the New York Pro, didn't she? You know how they're judging with the bikini. Yeah. But um, yeah, so Arnold Classic next year. That'll be, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd tell you, the Arnold Classic next year, mate. Rami, Roden, Kuklo, Sergio. Uh, was it Patrick Moore? Who else we got? Come on. Philippe. Possibly. Who else? We've got Akeem now. I'd, I'd be very surprised if Roley didn't do it. Oh, he, Roley. Uh, will John Delarosa jump in as well? 
Uh, yeah, but Roly needs to make an impact now. Now it's enough. I would love to see Roly win. The now it's enough. Although he's qualified with his win in Italy. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, He yeah, cannot yeah. take a year off and come at the Olympia. Oh, he'd lose momentum. Yeah, he'd lose momentum. He has to go and win the Arnold, really. Or get he has through. to. Yeah, he has to. Yeah, because he's... Or yeah. is it's, it's, it's... He has to, Jaws. Yeah, he's... If you want to be a superstar. Yeah. He needs to win the Arnold. He needs to win the Arnold. Okay. So, yep. Okay. Big thank you there to Akim Williams. Uh, Thanks to AMI for getting him, us, uh, Akim. Of course. Yeah. I messaged Angelica, Angelica. and uh, yeah. double check because he's an AMI athlete. So uh, great representative for those guys. So uh, big thank you to Akim. And we'll be right back after the break with our next guest on MT Global Radio. Radio. And we are, <laughs> and we are out. And welcome back to MD Global Muscle Radio here at the Pump Meter Studios. Joined by my co-host, AJ, all the way from Norway. And we're joined by... Alina Popa! Oh, what a legends! Legends! <laughs> yes, <What>? yes! <laughs> 2018 Phoenix Championship winner. 2013-14 Olympia runner-up. Oh, look at that. Yes, you know it. Of course, you know it. of course, of course. Uh, Alina, was it um, was it 2012? You came second to Iris Kyle at the Olympia. It was uh, 2013 and 14. Uh, I 13. just said it in our no, just because <laughs> no, because I remember when um, I remember seeing when you took second to Iris, and Iris had kind of just was seen like the Ronnie Cole, and she was just unbeatable. And I remember when I remember when I heard that they cancelled the Olympia. I remember thinking, oh, Alina, because. Everyone was saying that, you know, another year and you were going to be Iris Kyle. I just remember. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very vivid memory I have of, you know, that happening. So it was like, because I remember I was, like, everyone was saying, nah, she's, she's the one to take out Iris Kyle. I was really, really Phoenix Rising this year. Only thing that saddened me that you weren't in it. Can you tell us why you didn't do it this year? Oh. <laughs> Well, um, you know that I have accepted a position with Wings of Strength. Okay. Uh, and we have so many shows during the year that it was absolutely impossible for me to prep as well while we ran all these shows. Um, I think we had about seven or eight last year. Mm -hmm. So it was the first time that we actually gathered together Wings of Strength as a structured as a business. So I have an office job and I'm doing all the stuff that promoters do. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a it's a it's a it keeps my hands full. Mm -hmm. The full -time mm -hmm. job. Full time job. And yeah. So, I mean, until we set up the patterns, you know, and then everything will be repetitive. That's what stopped me from from competing. Mm -hmm. I was busy. Mm. Helping others compete, putting a stage for them. <laughs> so you, you're from Romania, correct? Yes. Correct. So is that the connection with Tim Gardner of the Wings of Strength? Is, that, is, is the connection with Romania, w with you and the Wings of Strength, is that why they have the pro show there? Um, I believe so, but um, I, I, I think that what happened is at the end of 2017, yeah. Uh, yeah. Jake Wood, who is the, the owner of Wings of Strength, uh, came to me and uh, asked me about how, what do I feel about Romania, no, about the Romania uh, field, you know, the bodybuilding field. Yeah. I knew that uh, IFBB Professional League is not here, mm. and I knew that there is a big demand for that. So mm. knowing that, you know, all the Western Europe, UK, Spain, Italy, all of those parts have already been taken, mm. and there already not taken but there were shows already i knew that in eastern europe except for prague right was gone there now. was else so i said a good place to put it i think would be romania and i can help because i know the people the customs the language the field you know the industry and so on and so forth so yeah pretty much i was in the middle of that yes right. only problem with we can talk about romania i was there last year mm -hmm. First of all, fantastic show last year uh, for the athletes. I was uh, how the, everything is in the, the is it the same hotel by the way this year? What's that? Is it the same hotel by the way this no, year? No, it is a different hotel. Oh, last year was very good hotel. <laughs> you like the place was good with the buses oh. straight to the oh. arena oh. and about it. <laughs> only problem in Romania is the taxi drivers. I'm not feeling them. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No taxi drivers. It can't be worse in Prague. Oof. 
But now in Europe, Romania Pro, that will be the biggest IBB Pro show in Europe this year, correct? Actually, it happened that even last year it was the, the biggest IBB oh. Pro show. And I mean, we were taken by surprise, you yeah. know. We organized it and we went there and I said, what, what will be, will be. And then we had this amazing feel of competitors and you know like really big names and very very good athletes like mm. top athletes so we presume that this year is going to be even more successful I with even so. more people we pushed it we promoted more mm. i see athletes tagging us everywhere all over facebook and instagram i think it's going to be big and it is the biggest one in europe it's ever been also from the number of professional athletes involved so so for the first year, because I know, I mean, I've, um, I've been to like the Tampa show, I've been to Tim Gardner shows, and he always runs amazing shows. But for your first year, you went for every single pro category. And I mean, it, AJ said it was an absolutely huge show for the first year. A bikini, I'm not sure, was there last year, was there? Right. It was, yeah, we the had a so, bikini. Yeah, because Tim Gardner, uh, Chicago, Romania, uh, and I believe Tampa has every single pro category. So that's a real, that's a real leap of faith for your first year to have every pro category. So, so you, you... Do you think it exceeded expectations in terms of audience and competitors? Support? Absolutely, yeah. It exceeded everybody's expectations, yeah. And this year we're going to oh. have again. This year, Brandon Curry is coming. Who? The Who? guest Who? Olympia champion Brandon no, no, Curry. No, never heard of him. Uh, Natalia Amosonka pro debut. Oh, she's doing pro debut. Oh, yeah, she's doing her pro she's debut. She's doing yeah. her pro debut. Oh, yeah, uh, Regan Grimes is doing his open class return in Romania. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, what else is there? What is there, Alina? What else is there? Uh, I, I saw that Valentina Mishina is competing. Oh, oh the classic she physique just got girl. She six or seven at the was, um, Olympia physique. She, she was sixth place at the Olympia and myself, because I, mean, I was there. Oh, fantastic I, I was so physique. impressed with her. Beautiful physique. Beautiful. I like her like, shape of her legs, her condition. Very feminine. Uh, beautiful package. Just her, the 212, that guy who got overlooked, the, the, the Spanish. Oh, Angel Calder... Um, Angel. 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 He's doing Angel. the 212 class it down there? Well, I know, yes. But you know, we've been um, we've been seeing pictures of Rami in very good shape, in amazing shape. So say? we are like, we're here looking and what's going to happen? Because <laughs> the only shows that he can be in shape for were Prague, which was cancelled. Yes. Or Italy. And Bucharest, right? And Italy, so yeah. That yeah. would be absolutely amazing if we get him here. Is there well, any are... contact with him? Have you called? Have no, you reached out? I, I actually didn't, but you know, that's a good point. I'm going to try and reach out and see if that is possible. Well, well uh, Flex Lewis teased me the other week and he says, oh, I hear that uh, Rami and Sean Rhoda might be doing Italy. And I was like, well, they're both dieting. They're both prepping. So my guess is they're either going to do Italy. I didn't know about Bucharest at the time. They're either going to do Italy or I'm, I reckon he'll go for uh, Romania. We had Phil Heath on the show. And I said, I think Rami's going to do Romania. And he said, well, why would he, blah, blah, blah. It's not the 400K for the Olympia. Why would... And I said, early qualification. Why would he not do it if he's dieting? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He's four weeks out from something, and he would have been four to six weeks out from the Romania show by, purely by how he was looking at that point. Is Max Charles defending his title? Is he coming down this year? Do you know? Not that I know of. Because Max yeah. Charles won we last year. He should. Prepping. Yeah, he, that's how he qualified. Yeah, we didn't see him. Mm -hmm. Both. Yeah. No, it's, it's a little bit I just wanna I wanna quickly go back and just uh, let you know guys that this year we don't have fitness in either amateurs and professional and it's not because there's lack of support. We absolutely love and encourage fitness as well. We got we got an, a beautiful venue, but the stage does not allow right. all of the routines. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fix it next year either by extending the stage or changing the location. But as of right now, the only um, available location we could find that would fit was this one. Because at the same time, you remember, AJ, where there was last year, yeah. we won't the same location because there is a bigger, agri biggest agriculture of fair okay. going to Romania. That's why all the venues were taken. Oh, Okay. So that's all sorry. fine. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, but sorry, I, I, it limits it. Sorry, what did you say? Explain what did you say? There's there? a new, we can't have it at the same arena because there's something else going on there. Oh, now. right. So, I see. Sorry. I was, so yeah. there's a new, how is the new stadium, the venue? How is that one this year? <clears throat> it's actually, it's beautiful. It's uh, it's modern. It, it has a lot of uh, video screens all around. I mean, it's, it's almost like a immersing experience. Mm. Oh, wow. It's crazy. You have huge screens, video screens yeah. going left and right. Converging in front. 
Mm. And you're going to see all of these athletes everywhere. I mean, it's amazing. But we had to do that, cut that piece a little bit from the stage. Uh, and we filmed yesterday with uh, Brandon Curry, and he's um, he's still looking pretty sharp. So yeah. he's going to be looking. I mean, he's the new Mr. Olympia. Oof. He's going to be looking absolutely. Because I, I I spoke to Brandy, and they said he's still kind of eating a very, very clean diet because he wants to look good for the guest posing in Romania. And I think he's got a couple of appearances in other countries, but he's, he's going to be, he's not going to be blown up. He's going to be looking really good. Because they had William Bonac last year. He had a seminar. Okay. We had Bonac, yeah. yeah. But, oh, I interviewed him. Yeah, but. It's Brandon Curry guest posting is much better as Olympia champion. That's going to be really exciting, huh? <laughs> I know. When he won, we were like out of uh, our minds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Olympia in Romania now. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. And Sean Ray is hosting this year? Sean Ray is going to be, yes, our um, MC. Mm -hmm. I got a wardrobe assistant there, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we also have Serge Constance. Oh, yeah, He's yeah, yeah. Brought by uh, one of the local supplement store, Protein House. Okay. Or the fitness guy. The, you know, famous, the guy who uh, looks like um, with the, the, hair, the with handsome the Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yeah. Four, four plus million followers on Instagram. That's even more than He's AJ. He's a very good looking guy, too. Yeah. That's more followers than AJ. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. I'm up to <laughs> six now. So I'm up to six. Is he competing or what is he doing down there? Just being no, a... no. He's just coming with his sponsor. Okay, just to charm the girls. Exactly. exactly. I know one is already charmed. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of people's gonna be disappointed now, Alina. You got a lot of guy followers, man. They're not gonna like this. <laughs> you gotta edit this one out. <laughs> and he's got a girlfriend and everything. Wow, he's just okay, a okay, admirer, yeah. and you pay tributes to the aesthetical beauty of either men or women, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the sport we're in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Female bodybuilding is back at the Olympia. Hint, hint, hint. Yes. Will we will we see you competing in year 2020 at the Olympia, Lena? That's the million dollar question, please. You know, um, I really want to do it. I I mean, I was so close uh, to getting that title, and I feel like that's my opportunity. I I, I at least can try. Mm. Uh, Beat second. I know that. I have, what's that? You've been second. <laughs> you've, been, you've been second, you've been so close. Yeah, yeah, come, yeah, on, yeah. come on, come oh. on. Come on, that'd be amazing. Yeah, the you... first year was a success. The second year I was disappointed, but th that's the nature of the sport, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You if... only want to get better, you don't want to stagnate. <laughs> if you could do, um, like, you know, that 2013 Olympia when you got second, I remember, and they, I was, everyone was like, look, if the, the Olympia next year, this is definitely Alina's, and then... Uh, but she didn't answer, so will you come back, or...? <laughs> Okay. My answer is I want to. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't be like Kai Green now. Give us a proper <laughs> yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> are you do are you will okay if your hell if your time and no we can't say that because Kai Green also uses that as an excuse. <laughs> um is it more than a fifty percent chance you will doing twenty twenty Olympia? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what we want to hear. We want to see Alina, Helle, mm -hmm. Yaxini, Iris Kyle, Margie, Monique. Margie, Monique. We want to see er Irene Anderson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to see everybody. Maybe, maybe Natalia will qualify, and that's going to be really interesting because she's a different breed than all the rest. Uh, <sighs> she was uh, in Romania last year. Yeah, I know. She was the person who got stopped the most at the hotel to get oh, really? all, more than Bonac. Yeah. Wow. But her. She is She's very impressive. Condi She's very condition was amateur level. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. But yeah. this year, no if she, yeah. this year the pictures, her condition is 100% better already. If she can, if I she would love to see her coming in top top shape. I mean, I'm a competitor, but I'm a, I'm a fan of the sports too, and I I I'm, I'm I have the ability to fight as a competitor and step back and look, and I'm so excited. Yeah to see how will she place or how will she judge or how she will uh, follow in this lineup of uh, athletes with what she's got, because she's really impressive. Oh, if very, she got, very, very impressive. Then we'll see where the sport takes us, right? The judges, I mean, it, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alina, are you a fan of the women's physique category? 
I like phys- women's physique. Yeah, of Did course. It's it's a light weight, lightweight bodybuilding. <laughs> no, it is. No, it it's is. for the pussy boys. No, no, it is. It is. <laughs> do you um do you like the direction it's gone in? Because I, I think a couple of years ago, I felt like it was going in a bit of a weird direction. But what, how do you think it's um? Where do you think do you think it's in a good place right now? It is. Um, I think I personally would like to see it a bit softer. Oh, really? It is very impressive. Oh. It's very yeah. impressive, but um. I think that it's all the striations on the glutes and, you know, all the cuts and everything, all those criteria are a little bit too extreme. Mm-hmm. I feel like there would be a place for the ladies with that kind of size, somewhere in between that and uh, the figure. And I wish they were a bit softer, like one, maybe one step back to where it started from. Yeah, but they tried that. Do you remember in 1991 when they tried that at the Miss International and they said, right, we want less muscle, less condition, and they gave it to... And then the kind of they, they don't they don't go with that criteria. So if they if the girls turned up softer, they st- I think they'd still give it to the hard girls. I think they would. I think they would. I mean, it is hard even for as a judge. I can imagine looking at that and you see all that tremendous physique, which is shredded to the bone and it's so impressive. It's 3D. It comes towards you, mm. and it's hard to close your eyes and not reward that. Right when yes, you that's have. What, that's my point. Yeah. Just, yeah, I mean, do you, do you remember when Malakhan turned up in her final year and she came? She brought super condition, and for me, she she said she goes, I felt I had to do that to retain my title, but I preferred the look like like you're saying, like you know, the 2016 Absolutely. look where she was lit, not wasn't she wasn't soft, but she wasn't like she didn't have like shredded, you know, shredded defined glutes. I think I think the look they had, she had was so much nicer, which like you say is a, is a nicer woman's physique look. I loved her look like that. Exactly what you're saying. I think that should be what uh, the the standard should be for physics. I don't think they will go back to it. It's because you already oh, pr- no. Let's forget it, that she's absolutely amazing. Mm. She has those Juliana, crazy, yeah. crazy genetic. And then when you step on stage and you are this big cat moving, mm. <laughs> it's your muscles and all. You, no matter what you do, you're hot. <laughs> like and, yourself. Not everybody has that, you know. Malakan. Only thing, female bodybuilding, we a little bit, uh, maybe you have some solutions. The girls now are up in age, the girls that's dominating. How are we going to get the new, as Christine and Nicole, we were a fan of Christina, great new talent, by the way. Mm. Uh, but how can we get more new female bodybuilder talents? Because we need that for the division to grow. Where, where, where are they going to come from? So, uh, one of my uh, jobs in Wings of Strength, I'm also the athlete representative. So, I'm in touch with a lot of these girls. And I have to say that compared to two years ago, I see a lot of new girls coming in. Mm. Young girls um, or switching from physique. Okay. Because I do believe that uh, at, as the sport is split right now in weight classes, mm-hmm. right? Not classes in in its own its own category i feel like female bodybuilding is going to stay for girls with broad shoulders you have the structure you are huge i mean it doesn't i can eat 700 calories for three four months and i'm not gonna drop to physique class Mm. it's impossible right Mm -hmm. so there are women who have these genes for size right and muscles that just explode so i think the class will stay to that and it doesn't really matter if these girls are young I know girls who are young and they are huge. Mm. Of course, you're, you have carry more fat, you carry more muscle mm. because you have a bigger frame. So I do believe that I want to encourage these girls to come into this class, you know, and not don't diet down and don't starve yourself to be in the physique class. How old is um, uh, Natalia? I know they call Amazonka on Instagram. How old is she then? Because she's a new breed, isn't young she? Young 30s, I think. I do believe, no, I think she's in her late 20s, 28. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She is yeah. uh, just for people at home. She hasn't even competed as a pro yet, but her Instagram follow. Oh, yeah. She's, she's like a mi- million on Instagram. Or she's it is. legit. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. <laughs> but we still want to see the epic Alina versus Iris 2020. Uh, the, the, rematch. Rematch. the rematch for the 2013 Olympia. Hmm? Alina, wouldn't that be something come special? Come on. Come on. I would love to do that. Um, I hope that the stars align. Yeah. You know, I'm very passionate about my job, and we have a lot of things on our plate coming next year. And we, new additions, new shows. The mm. sport is growing. Mm. Uh, 
Therefore, we have the new Olympia. As I was telling you, there are more and more competitors coming in our class. Women feel motivated to compete as bodybuilders because mm -hmm. they see the, the category, the class is, has legitimacy again. Yes. Right? We yes. have women that are beautiful and we encourage that. We encourage size. We encourage the, the perfect combo from every point of view right so either that or the girls in physique get too muscular like martina zamolova she's like 10 pounds away from being a bodybuilder Who's martina you, you the yeah. czech girl Jack, the yeah, Czech ma, ma, uh, margarita ma, 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 margita, Zama, ma, margita zamolova oh she's fantastic do you think she yeah, be a so, bodybuilder? but she's so close to be a bodybuilder yes, so she's close. when we see these girls i personally go to them and i encourage them to cross into our class yes 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 no yes no, I don't think she, she's, but no. She no. has, she no. won the physique class and I came on the show and I said, she is bigger than the girl that won the bodybuilding class in, tap. was it Tampa? No. Not yes. Tampa. Yes. I disagree. Can we, can we make a bet? If Alina I'm, agrees, I'm, who's the right <laughs> Phoenix and you don't agree? I Well, well, my ex-girlfriend competed against her and I've seen her up close and to me, she is perfect yeah. physique. She's progressed since then. Gotten bigger. Well, I saw her at the Olympia. She was sixth or fifth. Fifth or okay, six. make a bet, Alina. What were you going to say? Let's uh, make a bet. <laughs> okay. What's the bet? Okay. Are you afraid? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm always afraid. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the bet? That Margita moves up to uh, bodybuilding. Do you think? Is that? Oh, I know. If I win, you may let me moderate one of your episodes, and you fly me to London. To where are you guys? Miami. Uh, London. Where uh, Romania. You know, you fly me to London in your in your uh, my private jet studio and let me moderate one of your episodes. If if what if if you if I win and she crosses to bodybuilding, do you agree? Okay. How okay. about you? What do you want? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's okay. it's a deal. Okay. I just I don't think she struggles to make it down to physique. I don't no, think she's, no, she's no. big. She's not. She's oh. Halina I saw it in the show. It was Tampa, I think it was. Uh, it was a Tampa, the female bodybuilder. Her name is. Do you remember who won Tampa? The female bodybuilder who won Tampa. Uh, hell, I won. Not, Tampa. Okay, so it wasn't Tampa. It was the other show then. It was. Uh, uh, yeah, it was I think it was one of those. But I um like Michaela Aycock. I can see why she moved up to bodybuilding because I suggested it to her coach. Michaela, um, yeah. Michaela Aycock. I said actually, I, th I think she's getting too big and too ripped for kind of women's physique. She moved up and I think she took fourth. Was it fourth or fifth in a in a? I think it might be in Tampa. She placed, but she kind of she leveled up in in terms of her physique. Oh yeah. And, but well, uh, what happened is that she was in Chicago and the judges. I mean, she yes. was way mm. too big for her class. Yeah, yeah. And she used to win and be in top three, and now this time she was past top ten. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. actually we started ch talking and I told her you need to switch to bodybuilding like mm. you, there's no way you can burn those muscles unless you stop for a year or something and she loves to train hard mm. as long as you train hard your muscles will explode like her back right? was really like way too big for physique I remember yeah. I saw her in Tampa 2017 so yeah she will she will switch we were <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. She, she's got the inside track yeah. uh, one know. thing since you're inside uh, bef uh, <clears throat> Phoenix uh, next year is there any yes. plans? Because that's a week before the Olympia as it is now. That won't happen next year, obviously. Do we know a time frame around? Because you're the one host. When will that I be? Think, What's your opinion? I think we, the show will keep on staying. We will. And many people reached out and they said, oh, now that Olympia is back, is Rising Phoenix going to go? I was like, no, it's no. not going to go. It's there to stay. It's been already five years. It's going to stay there with the prices, with the muscle, with the American muscle sports car, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going to stay there. And I think that we're still going to try next year to leave it as it is. Oh, really? And oh, really? really? A week before Olympia wow. and see how it impacts us. But we might change the format a little bit, the participation, okay. the qualification system. We might work and play a little bit with that. I mean, we didn't decide anything, but I mean, maybe who knows? Maybe one idea, make it invitational like Arnold used to be, right? Mm. Hang on a minute. So you would make that a qualifier for the Olympia? Uh, there will be a qualifier for the Olympia as well. So if you had that a week before, then you had the Olympia. Have you heard any, uh, uh, you know, this new rock show, the new Dwayne Johnson show? You know, I heard about it. Yeah. Three weeks after I've heard they, I've heard that they can have every category and there's going to be big prize money going to every category. Have you heard any news whether there's going to be female bodybuilding or not? I did not hear anything about that. It's very early though, isn't it? Very early. Yeah. It's too early. Uh, uh, 
I don't know anything about it. I mean, I heard about the show, but I cannot give you any information as to well, yes or no for our class. Well, I, I spoke to Robin Chang at the Olympia, and I said, look, any press press releases, I said, because he's one of the organizers, uh, the, the organizer. I said, let me know, I said, because, and he said, well, it's still very early. Mm. He said, we're not going to, you know, any information is certainly not going to be until the, the new year. But, but would it be smart to have it a week before, though? Is it, don't we need more space so we can get excited two times a year? Qualify. <laughs> um, because if everything I mean, I, is in the same week Yeah, but there's about like eight female bodybuilding shows yeah, but they're It's not going to be a qualifier big, It'll they, just be a last minute qualifier like Tampa Yeah, but that's the biggest Phoenix Suns show is bigger than the, uh, the Olympia it, No, it won't be for, though For it's female bodybuilding it's will not, be It'll be the Olympia What do you think, Alina? For Come female on. bodybuilding <laughs> Sorry, <we're> just, <laughs> We had Hela Trevino on She <laughs> said it uh, I know, but I'm I saying think, I, I see your point I think that uh, indeed it's gonna. They are very close together But um, as it is a qualifier, like we see now while we observe the uh, Arizona Pro, mm. which is all the other categories, a lot of girls that will compete at the Olympia actually compete in our show. It's like right. a rehearsal show for them. Right. Mm. So from the atle athlete's point of view, I think it's like a prep for Olympia. They would like to do that. Um, we're still experimenting with it, right? Mm. We know yeah. for sure we're going to hold it. We know for sure that... Uh, in our agenda, we're going to be very busy, so we're probably going to leave it as it is right now. And then if there are any changes, we'll do them in the future concerning the time when yeah. we put this. Because the only thing is that the reason why I think female rising is bigger than Olympia is because you get the car for a hundred. How much was the car worth again? It's around a hundred. Hundred thousand dollar car and fifty thousand dollar. And the women mm. are the stars. Alina. Or ten thousand dollar check. I'll ask Alina then. Alina, what would you rather, a car or Olympia title? What's more valuable to you? Which, if you could only have one, and you had the choice, the car, the rising, or the Olympia title, which would you want? Let's settle this. Oh, uh, why do you have to do that? To <laughs> See, of course, so the car and the title. What? Of course, this the is car not... or the Olympia title. It's not the Sandow trophy. Listen, the first time. That's now I know I got the car, and I love. I have the Corvette, which is a beast, and the <laughs> beauty and the beast in one. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that car. So my first impulse was like the car. Okay. But then my logic started, okay, you have the title forever. A car will go away in 20 exactly, years. Exactly, AJ. Right? Yeah, but it's not the so Sandow trophy. Just, it's the Olympia title. An, it's not the Sandow. Ah, from, an, oh, from an objective perspective, it's the Olympia. From a subjective perspective, it's the car. I feel like you're not giving me an answer, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave you, you have one. to pick one. You have no, no, to no, pick one. No, 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 the judges no, won't, one won't screw at the Olympia if you say the car. One or the other. <laughs> what, would you, what is more valuable to you? Hey, listen, why don't we do this? Next year, I do both shows and I get the car. <laughs> there and you go. Time. We need Alina Popa return. <laughs> Come on. And with an Olympia title, not another car. She's got one. She's already got one. <laughs> Well, uh, we're excited for Romania Pro. You will be there, of course, with all the legends. It's I'm in... excited, yeah. We're going to have Landa Murray, Yaksani Orakin. Oh, oh she's I'll coming. There. So, yeah, she's coming. Going to be all six of us for the seminar on Friday, the 1st of November. Mm. Brandon, Serge, Sean, Landa, Yaksani, and me. And we're going to have an hour to answer to our fans and supporters. Brandon, and kind of... Sean, and... Uh, Serge. Search, search. Search. I, yeah. I think you and me should host that one. And it, no, we could do it. That'd be great. You gotta ask if you need hosts, if you need, you, <laughs> me and AJ are available. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, guys... we we are available for anything down there, Alina. Oh. Okay. Mm. So you know. To know. Yeah. Uh, we will send you. You say no now, no matter what I ask you. you uh, we will... I'm ready for. Sorry, it's not like it's not anything. Like it's, it's not like it's being filmed or anything. So, you know. <laughs> Just, it's just, Alina, it's just between us. Uh, 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 no. Uh, any shout outs you want to do before we go? Anybody you want to thank or sponsors or whatever? Oh my God. I mean, we need another 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for having me here. Mm, pleasure. Um, obviously, I love Wings of Strength, right? Mm. I work for them. I'm part of the feeling. We, we are very passionate about everything we're doing. We love all our female bodybuilders. We love all the athletes. Our actually, our logo is bodybuilding for every body. Two words, I like right? That. Even men's physique. I'm just playing. I'm just yeah. playing. Play. Play. Hey, you're talking to a woman. A man is a man, okay? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. So wings of strength. Yeah. 
Wings of Strength. Uh, we have putting this show together in Romania. I want to thank Tim Garner. Obviously, he's oh, you know yeah. he's with us. He's helping. He's he's pushing. Tim is awesome. I love Tim. Tim and Eileen, they are great. IFBB Pro League. I'm so happy to be able to bring all the values of this federation and be able to spread them around the world. Right? Mm, I mean, we do so much for the sport, and like I'm back here in Romania trying to promote the sport, and I see the passion in all the followers, all the athletes, all the fans. It's amazing to be able to perpetuate this kind of energy and keep on the the spirit of bodybuilding. Mm. So okay. there you go, everybody who takes part in it, mm. athletes, fans, families, supporters. <laughs> My God, <laughs> Alina, um, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've really enjoyed this one. And I have, before we go, I have to give a shout out because I said we get Alina on. He almost cried. JBL Filmworks, you know him? I know him. He will. Can you give him a shout out? He will die in in peace if you do say something to him. <laughs> oh my God! I don't want him to die. I actually like him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guy. JBL Filmworks. Yeah, that's JB for you. JBL Filmworks. Hello. All the best. Thank you for your support. <laughs> yes, yes, he's yes. always been supportive. I know he's team. very supportive. Yeah. We love it. Alina, um, hope to see you in Romania in just a few weeks. Mm. Definitely. Thank you for coming on, and I'm uh, really excited about everything for female bodybuilding. It sounds like everything's kind of really taking off, and. Uh, mm. You know, with uh, with people like yourself at the helm and Jake Wood and Wings of Strength, Tim Gardner, it's, uh, it sounds it's all very positive. The Olympia's back, so female bodybuilding's in a very good place. Yeah. So Alina, thank you so much, and we will look forward to seeing you hopefully very soon. I hope to give you the next interview as the new Miss Olympia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Mar Mar GV's not gonna like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's well, see. Let's well, see what, see what happens. See what happens. Yeah. Okay. We all gonna be that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alina. Bye-bye. Thank you so bye -bye. much. Take bye -bye. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Ah, oh. oh, what a lovely lady. We see why she's a representative, huh? <sighs> what are you going to say something there? Uh, what are you going to say? Are you smitten? Is that the word smitten? Is that the English word, Chris? Smitten? I'm a smitten kitten. <laughs> no, she's lovely. She's very lovely. lovely. She's beautiful, isn't she? Very. <laughs> am I like, oh, I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? No. Am I? Am I? Is that professional? You ain't got no girlfriend. You're allowed to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> no, AJ, no. I'm moving to Romania. You're I'm moving not to back. Romania. I'm not coming back. What do they speak in, in Romania? What languages in, in Romania? I'm going to live in Dracula's castle. Do you think they're annoyed when you say that in Romania? Always Dracula Castle? Is there something else in Romania? It's Vlad, isn't it? Vlad the Impaler is. Vlad the Impaler. No, because um, Mazanali, he went, because I saw on his Facebook, when he went to Romania Pro last year, mm. he, because um, I saw him in Vegas a couple of weeks ago, and he said, he said, uh, he said that's one of the most amazing things I've ever been to. The, on all, yeah. on all, as a judge, he travels the world. He said, the most amazing thing he's seen. We're going there this year to watch that castle then. I'm at, yeah, well, yeah. Last time I was hung over from tequila shots, so I didn't go. <laughs> AJ... I think that trip of yours to Romania last year was something of legend. I hope Jeff Beckham shows up in shape this year, though. Well, let's hope he remembers to if diet. If he even shows up. Let's hope he remembers to diet this time. And we does, shall see. And look, makes the top five and fulfills his potential. Come on, Jeff. Re MD, are you listening? And Regan Grimes come back down there? Yeah, I'm, I bet you're happy to see him back in the open. Who? Regan? Regan, yeah. He didn't, he didn't work for me as a classic. Didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, Ash, he should have stayed open all the time. He should not switch jumping around because he's young. He can grow. Well, I saw him as a, I saw him as a classic, and it, it just didn't look right for me. I saw him at the Olympia last year, and to me, it was it, just no, no. He's because I saw him at Tampa as an Open 2017 when he made top six, and uh, he was he was. You could see they just need a bit more upper body, and a bit more condition. But I mean, there's a guy who's uh, who could win the. He could definitely win the Roma win the Romania Pro. 2020, or it starts from now. Female bodybuilding is going to have the best year in the lot. And if yeah, Iris yeah. Kyle returns I, I forgot and to, Alina Popa. AJ, Ooh, AJ, wee. I forgot to ask whether she, whether she knows whether Iris will come back. I think they're, I don't think they're friends, Kai, okay. uh, Iris and Alina. So, so I don't think they're speaking. Thing is a bit of a, a bit of a Kai Phil. A little bit of Kai Phil. Yeah. 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 But I, honestly, because I, I do, I have followed female bodybuilding, but I remember because it was like Iris Kyle was so dominating. I remember seeing her at the 2010 Olympia, and I was like, oh my God, she is just amazing. And it seemed like it was her versus everybody else was fighting for second. But I remember when in 2013, when Alina came in, she took second. Everyone was like, Alina will win this next year. She just, I think maybe some people even had a winning over Iris, yeah. but it was like really close. So it added some real excitement. And then the Olympia got cancelled. Who's the most freakiest female bodybuilder for all time? A oh, freakiest? Oh, God. Uh, I can't think. I can't think. Come on now. Uh, Who did Chad Nichols I date? Thought, 
Oh, Marion. Kim Chesevsky. Oh, I love Kim. Chesevsky. She was so good. She they told her to stop and took away. Uh, remember, she was so freaky that she they... was incredible. Do you remember? Yeah, oh. she was four time Miss Olympia. She was amazing. Yeah, she, this, yeah. she took it like Dorian Yates took it in the open. He took it up a level. Yeah, I think they made a weight class because of her. Like they put it down to lightweight. She was too oh, good. That's right. Yeah, she was so. too freaky. And there was um, yeah, Valentina Shapiga. Uh, she won the yeah 2000. So Thanks to Alina Popa. Big thank you. Oh, a lovely lady. And yeah, and, and, it's, and she sounds like a fantastic. And uh, can't wait to see in Romania. And if Margarita does female bodybuilding, you gotta Margita. start. You gotta start saving your money because you gotta pay for a ticket to come to her I Alina to post. She, I just I'll have to look at the pictures. I think she's fantastic women's physique. In fact, she um, yeah, she was one of my favorites at the Olympia in the women's physique this year. Actually, Margarita Zamalova. And she Alina will come host the show and stay at your house and uh, yeah. be good. Yeah. You gotta fight Sergey Constance for her first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alina Popa, thank yeah. you. Okay, then we'll be right back after the break with our next guest on MD Globe Muscle Radio, and we are out. And welcome back to MD Globe Muscle Radio here at the Pumpy Studios. Joined by my co-host AJ all the way from Norway. And we are joined by the 212 Olympia winner. Come on! Yeah. El Darny! If you win the Olympia, you get a table thump. Yes! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> careful, you're wobbling your laptop there, mate. Yeah. Come yeah. On, come on, come on. You've got that, 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 that new Olympia winner smell about you. Oh. <laughs> The new, <laughs> the new, the new, the new champion. <laughs> oh, come on, Hi wow. guys, AJ. How are you guys? How are you doing? Now you have done it all, Kamal. You have done every. Well, we have you the can, open still, but you can drop the mic. You've done it all now, Kamal. You've done it all, haven't you? Well, I mean, AJ, the last interview, you've been quiet. You're not sure. Like you've been like, uh, uh, is he? Is he? Is he means what he's talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I love. I mean, Jars, you, oh. you was he wasn't hundred percent like uh, I can see in your face. But, oh no! But I was like, listen, I reckon he'll be. Oh. I, I said to AJ, I said, I said, I think he'll make top ten this year. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, what I'm gonna say. It's a lot of like interviews, Amazing. a lot of media saying, is he gonna? Is he this? Is he age? So we proved them all wrong. Yes! Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. It was wow. just... Mate, obviously, we, I interviewed you uh, before uh, at the Olympia on the Meet the Olympians on the Thursday night. I interviewed you, like, with your medal around your neck just after you won. I got a bit choked up in the interview because I was just so happy, mate. It was such a... It was such an amazing win. It was such a, an experience to be right there when you won, mate. It was ah, fantastic. <sighs> what were you thinking when you called your name out? <laughs> were you sure you're going to win? Were you 100% sure? Most of the people at home were sure. Mm. But well, we yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's never sure. I mean, I don't know, but um, I don't know if you, if you notice, guys, um, as when they call in, like, the top three. So they mentioned Sean Clarida, and then they mentioned Derek Lansford. And before they mentioned, because they mentioned the top six, and we are the top ten we are on stage, still on stage. So when they mention these three, and then it could be anyone else. Mm. So before they mention my name, oh, I yeah, just yeah. wait straight oh. in the middle. And they told me like, hey, they haven't mentioned your name. I said, well, we are the top three at the pre-judging. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure it's me. I was not going to be someone else. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it, it's like, hey, come on. They need to mention your name, but they're going to announce you first. It's not, maybe it's not you. I said, oh, shit. Maybe. <laughs> 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 but it's, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's so weird. I mean, uh, we know from the pre-judging, like when, when they have you like in the middle and the center. So, you know, it's, mm. it's you, but. It, it, it was, it was a moment, man. It's unbelievable uh, to get that um, achievement after all these years. And it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I mean, like you think about like Brandon Curry th and at the end of 2016, he was almost ready to call it a day. You had all your problems where it looked like even the, the, the pro card wasn't even going to happen, even though you were worthy of it over mm -hmm. and over again. 
Then the, then all of a sudden the split happened. You were, you know, Jim Mannion looked at you and went, this guy needs his pro card. There's your pro card. You did the Arnold Classic. You won the Arnold Classic. You went to the Olympia. You got third. You should have been second. Yes. And then, <laughs> and then this year it was like, and then you went very, very quiet. Because I came to see you at the end of last year and you said, right, this is the plan, Giles. I'm going to start prepping in January. I'm going to go quiet. I'm going to win the Olympia. Then I'm going to retire. What's happening now? Well, <laughs> as you see, Giles, I mean, um, this is, to be honest, it's still, it's still um, it was until even I won. I think I did mention on stage, like when uh, Bob Chicago, he, he, he actually announced my name, he said to me, I said, this is, that's it, me, and I'm done. This is the end of my career. I said, well, you sure? And then after, like, all that speech I did on stage and all that um, uh, press conference and the... Um, after the party, after and everything, mm. and an interview like backstage and with Jay Cutler and with all all these guys, especially with Jay, man. Uh, Jay, he's like, he said, no, 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 no. We're gonna <laughs> no, see you no, again. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you're not going. And I'm, to be honest, and after like what I've heard from like my idol, Flex Wheeler, mm. he was talking about me and he said, Kamal, he bought something that we haven't seen from the 90s. All wow. the lines, all the hardness, all the the shape and the physique and all that and he said it's definitely we need to see that again and again and mm -hmm. i said oh god and, it's, and i had a lot from the crowd as well I said kamal please we've heard you like you're gonna be like retiring and i said yes i mean oh please at least defend it once at least mm -hmm. and i to be honest and i said i need to ask few people few people which is i can't be just selfish anymore it has to be like which is i asked my wife and i was actually chris is here i said what do you think is my coach and he said okay we could do it again chris said i said yeah 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 and i've told you you've got five years in your physique you you never looked uh, age or you looked even like better than some young guys there like yeah. with everything well you, you look better than and all said, the young guys you, you look better all. than all the young guys since you, you won all, you <laughs> kicked their ass wow i mean as, <laughs> as, as as a skin wise as whatever so and i said okay so my wife she's always supportive of me even like when my kids because they was watching it live they were still up and everything mm. and, and i said no i'm gonna retire so straight away my wife in the phone oh your kids they said no 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 you <laughs> should come <laughs> <laughs> keep competing so I said okay I will do it one more year hopefully I will defend it and so you had do fans it. did you have your own Libyan fans at the Olympia there was tons of Libyan on the, on the flags side, yeah, on the side and, sort of uh, that was oh, great yeah. to see to be honest I've never it's not just the Libyans the most the Arabs like all over and I had like a lot of Libyans that I never knew okay so yeah so they had been seeing all the social media that I'm competing in Vegas whatever so they contacted uh, my teams in Libya, which is the gym and the um, on the Facebook, they've contacted that, and then they said um, we need um, Kamal is like uh, contact. So they contacted me, which is there are some doctors, which is they live there and they work there, okay. and some others they travel from different other like from California. They so I was wow. like, oh my God, so all all of them they arrived, and I was like hearing Libya, Libya. I was like, what? Where did they come from? <laughs> And it was, it's very, very nice. I mean, wow. it's, it's a very, very, I'm, I'm really happy. They, and they really happy for me as well. Yeah. Kamal, uh, a week after you got back, I, as you know, I came back, I came down to see you because you only live like a couple of hours away. I drove down, went, oh, thanks for the food. That was lovely by the nice Turkish restaurant we went to. <laughs> okay. And you told us about some of your plans for next year. Um, do you want to expand on that? Well, to be honest, um, this is, this is, would be nice because it will be the only thing that I haven't done. So um, it's like the open class, you mean? Yes. The open, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a probably, yes. Because like what I always say that, always say that, to do an a pro show, mm -hmm. it could be easy to win or easy to come at the top three or to look good. And then when you do the Olympia, it's completely different. Yeah. It's a completely different show. The judges, for they look for something different. So, for me, as you see, like Giles, you know me, like four weeks out or five weeks out, mm -hmm. I am almost ready yep. with like nearly 100 kilo. Mm -hmm. Nine, yeah. 98, 97 are almost ready. 
Mm. So with, with me and Chris, when we work out together, we have to nail it. At the Olympia, it has to be 100% because Chris, he knows the judges, what they're looking for at the Olympia. Mm. Right. So we always work at the Olympia shows. Mm. So this year, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm really like, he, 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 I think he will be, he will have, he'll be happy to do that as well as, uh, if, if I wanted to do it. Mm. So I've, I've, we discussed a little bit, we might do an open show. We haven't yep. picked one yet mm-hmm. to do an open show um, to see how do I look on stage as heavier I've, I've ever been, like maybe... 96 kilo, 98 kilos, or what? something like. What's that in pounds? No, no, 96 kilo is 212. That's 212. Yes. So you were, I think you were, was it 208 at the Olympia? 208. Yes, that's 208. 208 so yes. you're saying you want to be closer to 215 on stage to see how you look as an open. Exactly, as an open, as a fuller, more full, more around. Because I am, I am some in pitches. good condition. Like six mm-hmm. weeks out. Yeah. I mean, I've showed you, I've showed you some pictures. Um, yeah, yeah, Giles, yeah. which is which is I haven't even posted. I've seen on seen on, on yeah, and it's everything is there. But, everything is there. But on stage, are you going to be dry and detailed? At few, or are you just going to be bigger? And because obviously everything will be pushing against the skin more, and you'll be fuller. Uh, are you gonna? Do you honestly think you'll be? I mean, I know Chris is very knowledgeable, but do you think you're going to be absolutely stage ready and able to do battle? I think so, because I could afford to lose a little bit of condition yeah. from what I've been bringing this year and last year. Right. Probably I could lose maybe, I'll say, 10% or 5%, yeah. and then I'll keep more size. I think so. This is, this is, this is again, it's up to Chris, mm-hmm. and then we, we, we will work it together, and we will see what, what's going to happen with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would love to do that. So it will be the only thing that I haven't done in the life of my career yeah. of bodybuilding. Well, well, Flex Lewis has done a couple of, um, in 2011, he was on stage as an open at 206. And he, he was beating guys like Tony Freeman, um, you know, Robert Piotrkowicz, you know, good open bodybuilders. And um, he was getting thirds and fourths in big open shows. Yes, Giles. I mean, you know me. You know me from years and years back. When I did the universe and the world. 2001, the, 2002, yeah. 2002, when yeah, I did yeah, yeah. like uh, the UK, the England, um, the final, for the final for the UK. So I beat the class four when I was doing the Napa. I was like 80 kilo. I was going to say, I, uh, Kamal, you were 80 kilo, mate. And you were winning. I mean, I've got those. I was photographing those. Shows. It but, was 80 kilo. I know that. But an open show... I suppose I suppose that we've seen Hadi at two. Yeah, but 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 what do you, why think? What not, do you think? What do you think? I'm not sure, Kamal. I want to see you take out Derek Lunsford next year because that's there's gonna be some. You and Derek Lunsford have a rivalry now, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming back for 2012. This is just gonna okay. Be... Uh, oh, oh, I no, was no, worried. No, 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 no. Want, this is as well. This is oh, well. Yeah, as no, well. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing 212. I'm back again to do 12 okay. again. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but. But I'm going to do a show uh, just to see. It's just for me. It's just for no one else. It's just for me. Mm. I want to see what I'm going to look for that size. Uh, Not coming really to that, losing that much. You Mm. know what I mean? But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming back for 212. um, To do 212 hopefully next year again. I I mean, if I win, yes, I won again. If not, I won the title. I've got it here at home. (laughs) (laughs) You got the, ba- the bank accounts flashing, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, no, I, it's not just that, Clive. <laughs> I want to see somebody else to win it in my age. Yeah, oh, that's not yeah, going to yeah, happen. So yeah. when they reach my age and then they win it, and then they will say, I'll be, we, beat, we beat Kamal. Mm. So till then, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hang on a minute, how old? I don't, what about Samuel Haddad? How old is he now? Oh, he can't he win it. No. no, 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 stop no, but, that. But, the open, but 212 guys that have done well as open, there's Flex Lewis, Jose Raymond, Dave Henry, who else? Hadi. That went up on 212 to open. Hadi, yeah. There's, Bonac, a, there's, there's four. Bonac, there's the another guy. Bonac is the best one, huh? Yeah, yeah, Bonac. Yeah, yeah. Bonac, so these guys, I mean, the, the quality of, the, of these 212 guys, like Kamal, who's the champ, you know, it's like, I, I'm really, I think it takes real balls to do what you're doing there and try and open and say, look, I'm just curious to know how I'll look. And, and present a different package. Uh, and what about taking an open show that, uh, not say pick shows, but get a little bit shows that's not completely crowded and British go try Grand and win Prix. it? British Grand Prix. Brit- British Grand Prix? Ooh. 
Probably. I mean, I mean, I mean, really, it's, listen, I don't, I don't have to win it. It's not me for winning. I mean, I, you know what is that? But it's just like to look at, to be even top three. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm not going to be like whatever. It's not going to be, but just for me uh, to come top three, to see, to show what's, what's different. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it for myself. I mean, it will be, it'll be great. I think it will be great. Kamal versus Zach Khan versus Nathan Diasha versus Samson at the British Grand Prix. Can you beat the Nathan Diasha? Well, to be honest, that's that's uh, Nathan Diasha. I think this year it was disappointing, but he's got an excuse, and everybody knows what he's been going through. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why he wasn't look as good. But I think we're gonna see Stress. Nathan Diasha next year at his best. Yeah, because I've, I've, yeah, I've yeah. been, I've, I have been. Um, preparing some shows when I am under stress That's and I when my head is not 100% focused yeah. into my show. Mm. To be honest, what he did under what he was going through yes. and still going on stage, that's a massive bonus for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Totally and I'm sure and 100% next year, if he keeps away from all that shit what's been going on yeah. or whatever, it just focus on his career, mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a a, a much better Nathan the Asher. And I, I think because whatever he's been done um, uh, when he competed with the um, with Harry, he, he looked really disappointed. Mm -hmm. And I could, I, he could, he could like, looks a lot much better, a mm -hmm. lot much better. Mm -hmm. But it's because whatever, I mean, you cannot. Okay, maybe you think uh, you're doing training or whatever, but your head is not 100%. Mm -hmm. It's, it doesn't work. It does. I've been. I've been there before, and I've been, and I know what's all about. Kamal, do you want to tell us about um, sponsors or any any news regarding that, or do you want to talk about that or not? Or well, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I did. Um, I did. I did. I did two good. Um, which is the first one? Which is that's the main um, for me. Which is back home in Libya. Mm -hmm. Which is the Libyan uh, Libyana mobile phone. Okay. Um, I did actually. Managed with them and we spoke together. So next year they're gonna renew my contract no. with with I, I wouldn't say the number, but they're gonna <laughs> trouble they're gonna trouble the number, which is gonna be like triple triple triple, triple, triple the number. Yes. Oh yes. Yo, yeah. Yo, yo. yeah 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 yeah. Not it's the phone big, number, big, but the, no, no, wow. the I don't I don't wow. think any wow. any anyone has got that sponsor before triple as a the number. Builder. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I, but, I, will, listen, I, will, I will tell you off air. I will tell you what's the number anyway, <laughs> but not not on air. Yeah, but uh, they they want to keep wow. it secret wow. as well. Wow, that's fantastic! And also, uh, with our what we uh, actually our um, uh, what we doing? Uh, it's with the uh, what they call it with the supplement company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I did actually Giles. I signed a contract with BBI. BBI. So yes. that's. I actually yeah, knew I this, did. but I just wanted to double check. <laughs> when did yeah, you yeah, sign yeah. with them? It's, it's all happened. I did sign the contract yesterday. Oh, so brilliant. I'm, Congratulations. Yes, I'm with BBI, so thank you very much. So we are actually at the moment working on um, how we're going to start the media wow. house. So to be honest, with BBI, I've been working with them for a long time before, as four years. It's not working with them as a, a sponsor company, but we do business together as back home. Uh, we buy their product, we sell it in back home in our supplement, which is El Gargni Nutrition back home in Libya, and we're doing very well with them. But for me now, to be a sponsor uh, as a BBI um, athlete, athlete, so yeah. I will be pushing a lot more for them, and we do a good bit. Uh, hopefully, we, we make it even more successful. Kamal, I want to say something to AJ. I went to uh, dinner with Kamal the other weekend. And I said, uh, I said, oh, maybe go with, uh, maybe go with this company. And, and he says, why? He said, I don't like their products. I said, no, 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 that's not how these things work. And he went, no, no, no. I wouldn't want to be with a company that I didn't use their products or personally believe in. He says, I, I don't care. <laughs> AJ, he says, I don't care about the money. He says, I don't care. It means nothing. He I was says, just going to see Beeper. It's really good products. I was just going to say, yeah, yeah, they yeah, got yeah. great and, products. I know he's, and I, I love that. That's such a rarity to hear. You know, you see people jumping from company to company to company. And he went, and, I, and then you said you had interest in BPO. And he goes, and he went, I, I would consider it because I believe in their products. And I like their products. Mm. And it's so refreshing to hear, Kamal. Well, to be honest, um, I, I wouldn't mention the company name. But uh, I mentioned the guy, he made the offer to me. And he mm. said he's going to make um, the contact to wherever. 
and he mentioned the company. I said, no, 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 no. Which is, I think, you know the guy, uh, it's Ali Own. He owns Pacific Nutrition in Wales. I, I've met Ali once or twice. Ali, yeah, uh, so... Hey, Ali. Ali, the one with the Phil Heat talk. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, one, yeah. I, the one he's uh, got um, uh, Phil Heat, which is one that you're yeah, yeah, yeah. arranged. Yeah, yeah. Ali's a great so, guy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he's he's he spoke to me straight away. He said, come hey, on, <laughs> I've got this sponsor for you, and blah, 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 what do you think? I said, listen, I've tried that company. I'm really sorry. I mean, I can't just be with this company, and I don't like the products. I can't drink it. I can't explain to people and say, I'm drinking this, which is I'm not. That's a lie. I cannot do it. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Yes, okay, thanks for help. You trying to help me with the offer or whatever, but I, I wouldn't do it. I would rather to do it with as a company, which is, I've tried their product, which is BBI. Actually, I was using some of their stuff through my prep. Brilliant. Uh, through Brilliant. my prep for the Olympia, and I use their stuff, and it's, it's, it's a great, I like it. I like the taste. Um, I like their products. Like what I said, I like it even before. Which yeah. is I sell it in my in my back home, my gym, so and my rare. like supplement shop. That's job. so rare. So oh. that's integrity, AJ. Yeah. Integrity. Uh, uh, Kamal is such. Um, I didn't know you before, but uh, Kamal, you, you you're just like the ultimate man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because <laughs> with, with with the beast. Because yeah, yeah. for me, it's very important not just to be every. Not everybody can't be a bodybuilder. That's wrong, but. The, you, the, the business part of you, the integrity, that you are an older age, but you look so young. People that are 49 that have been doing bodybuilding, some of them can't even walk. Uh, the, 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 and well, he, well, he is sat down. The, the, his humor, you know, when he says, when he says, to be honest, he yeah. always says, that it's, it's just, and the, you worldwide, comp you won every show there is in every federation. Multiple times, some of them. And you had no hype other than Giles last year, and you won the Arnold Classic, and now you won the, it's just, yeah. Fantastic. It's just, <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's a feel good story. It's just a feel good story. I'm happy yeah. the Pro League also has reward that they've seen the talent. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's oh, just, fantastic. it's just great, oh, yeah, I mean, come on. It is definitely, definitely. Thanks AJ, Oof. I mean, I appreciate what you, Giles, I mean, you're doing a great job, but it's again, yes, it's, it's happening. It is. And it's a lot of stories. <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you a quick one uh, with the PPI, uh, which is one of the uh, one of the owners, which is um, Whitney. So after what being after they had the interview and everything, in on in 2007, I did a show in America in California, Excalibur. Oh and yeah, I yeah, won, yeah. I won that show. I won my class, but we paddled for the overall. So I didn't win the overall. Okay. But last two weeks ago, Whitney texted me, said, Kemal, I knew, I know who you are now. Exactly. I, I've always said this guy, I've seen him before. Mm -hmm. And I said, what do you mean? He said, you know, and when I just started, um, when I started on to bodybuilding, okay. I was training with the, I, I forgot the name, the guy he won the overall. He said, he was my training partner. And you were battling with him oh. at the uh, Excalibur show, and he won it. And and I said, "Well, you now owner of the BBI, yeah. and we working all together." He said, and then I saw you at the Gold Gym, Gold Gym in uh, Venice for taking a photo shoot with like for some some magazines and some that. Yeah. I said, "Yeah, man, I'm an old man, man. I've been around for a long time." <laughs> <laughs> Making me feel old now. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Maybe, yeah, it was like come on, was a was lot of stories, yeah. man. A lot of us, a lot of things happening, which is great. Great. Kamal, it was meant to be, mate. It was meant it's to meant be some to of these be, things. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, in your yeah, destiny. Yeah. It was your destiny. It's your destiny. It sure yeah, is, yeah. man. AJ, um, I, we just want to get Kamal on there. Do you have you got any final questions? Because we only you know, final question. I want you to put tonight the picture you have of Kamal in your hallway yeah. to a more better place in your apartment. He what about deserves... the kitchen? What about the kitchen where I cook my eggs? Yes, <laughs> I, I think he deserved it now. Okay, okay. Someone's hey, moved. one more thing as well. I need, I need one more thing. When are you gonna come down? We're gonna have a couscous because I'm still in a diet. Look. Oh wow. Oh, I'm still, I'm still, man. I'm still dieting, man. I'm still low. Oh. I'm not eat anything till you come down, guys. Well, I, <laughs> when are we going? I'm a quick drive away, so go nowhere. Yeah. Go down now if you want. 
we, 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 gotta, we, we will send you a text very soon and we plan the date very soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we plan something at least. We, I, it would be great if we have a, probably one weekend or yeah. any, any, any. Just let me know yes. anytime. So at least yeah. I will have an excuse that I will eat with you guys. Good, <laughs> good, 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 good. Kamal, uh, I'll be seeing you very soon. And myself and AJ will yeah. come down, mate, because that's, yeah. uh, that's uh, like I said, I came to see you the other week and it was uh, it was great. And I'm so excited for you and so excited for the next year. Myself and Flex Lewis have been um, having a little private chats about how we want to <laughs> really help get behind yeah, you and make yeah. sure you maximize your opportunities next mm. year. And we, we really want to see you make the most of this because it's... Uh, you're yeah, good, he, to be honest... You're a good role model. To be model. honest, he... Flex, I mean, uh, as as a great guy, always. Yeah, uh, I yeah. mean, I can't say enough for that guy. I mean, uh, he he mentioned, he texted me earlier. He said, um, "Joyce mentioned you," but that's what he said. Joyce mentioned you. I said what? And then uh, you know, he yeah. said he's very busy. He's traveling a lot at the moment. He's doing a lot of as usual. Like he's mm. been a great ambassador for bodybuilding, especially yeah, yeah, for yeah. two twelve. Yeah. I mean, that guy. I mean. I, I think he works more than even the open class to me. Yeah. Mm. Big shoes to fill, That's but I, th- nice. I think you're going to do a great job. Come on, I really do. I yeah. really do. You and, Brand- I mean, you and Brandon Curry, honestly, absolutely fantastic representatives. Fantastic for the sport. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, like what I said, Giles, if anything that I could do for the sport, I'm happy to do it. I'm not too greedy. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm not whatever. Mm-hmm. Like what I said, um, for me, just like to give back to these people they believe to me especially yeah. mr jim Mannion and um all the guys they believe me on me like to be on this moment as yeah. a mr olympia yeah. I, 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 i'm happy to do anything yeah and just make sure you feed the good media guys really well well <laughs> yeah, you know <laughs> and to be honest come on, kamal is the 212 olympia Champion, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, fantastic. To be honest, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. So, I was like, what's he on about? What's the other about? Kamal, um, thank we'll, you. we'll come down and see you really soon, mate. And uh, thank you again for coming on, mate. We always appreciate it, mate. No worries, guy. Always a pleasure to be with you guys. Bye-bye. AJ, Cheers, Giles, Bye-bye. thank Bye-bye. you very much. Bye-bye. 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 Northampton's OG. Yep. We have so many people. So yep. thank you. Uh, thank Giles, you so much, Kamal, 49. One Arnold Classic. Don't, don't, he's, he's, not, he's not Dexter's agent. Okay. One <laughs> Arnold Classic last year yeah. with no hype coming in. Yeah. They saw he was the best they won. <laughs> uh, 2018 Olympia should have been second, got oh. third. Uh-huh. Should have won this year, won. Should have won this year, he did win. BPI sponsored now. Yeah. Triple Fantastic. him out on like a mobile phone, whatever yeah. it was. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's Fantastic. on. Come Fantastic. on. The legend now already. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And. Uh, We'll have to go and have some food, mate. Is we... it, his, his family does cook really well. Thanks to Kamal and we out. <laughs> and we are out. Okay, AJ, it's shout out time. Who's your first shout my out? Quick, from quick shot, my first shout out is to one of our watchers. His name is Aaron. Aaron, you go to Aaron. Aaron. Uh, the third one along, uh, Chris. Oh, okay. Who's this? Yeah, first, Who's you this? gotta see him. It's Aaron <laughs> Hafid. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your last name. Aaron Hafid. That's, yeah, that's fair. He's a sw- he lives in Sweden. I'm not sure his real uh, ethnicity. Oh. Yeah. So he's competing in men's physique. Cut V taper. She's competing in. <laughs> wow. He competes in the NPC. He tried trying to become pro. Yeah. He watches the show. Oh, it looks is he very here? nice shape. Look at the shape. Good midsection. Look at that. V. I'm just all I'm seeing is a, a really sharp V. Young man. I'm not sure how old wow. he is. Look his triceps. He competed at the there. If you go down there, uh, look, look. Fantastic. There, press, he competes at the, that's at the two bro show. That's that's uh, like a 60, 60 degree angle V shape. That's very very impressive. That's my friend Ivan. By the way, go to the left there. Yeah, he competed. Is it, where was that? At what for Coliseum? Oh, the Ben Weeder. I yeah, think yeah, he got yeah, a second yeah, yeah. place there. Fantastic. Great great so he, midsection. Yeah 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 yeah. And he watched the show. He's this will be out after the show, but he's competing today at the UK Amateur. What's it called again, Chris? Amateur Olympia. Amateur Olympia. But but this episode will always be out. So hopefully, when you watch this, you are a pro. Yes. We're, we're hoping. <laughs> if not, you use this for motivation to kill it in X prep. <laughs> well, thank you for your support. Yeah, fantastic. Great physique. Yeah. Great physique. Your okay. shout out is. Now, this is uh, Gianrica Pika, IFBB Pro 69. That's a cool name. 
cool name. Yes, he was. Uh, Gianrica is the uh, IFBB Pro League promoter from Italy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was a fantastic. I saw him compete. Uh, I photographed him actually in some of the early two thousands, the Grand Prix. But AJ, yeah, press that. One. AJ, look, yeah, yeah, a- AJ. Yeah, 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 this yeah. guy was having to go up again, like when Patrick Tu was competing, mm. and he said, you know, he did his first pro show, and he's up against Ronnie Coleman, Jay mm. Cutler. You know, Dexter Jackson, Dennis James, you know, and this, he was a big guy, fantastic physique. Uh, but this guy was like competing in one of the most competitive eras ever. So I remember was, him. Yeah. I, think, I think I've got 2003 in my head or 2002, the British Grand Prix he's done. And he gives back to the sport today. That's very yeah, important. He's fantastic. He's, um, thing is, out of all the, um, you know, since the IFBB split, there's some countries that are absolutely killing it. And I have been pro gitter. In fact, this is a guy that ran the uh, San Marino show, 2017. Yeah, 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 2017, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, that was one of that's probably one of the best European shows I've ever been to. Mm. And I always, whenever I have a good experience at the show, I always message that I always find out who the promoter is and I message them or email them. And because you usually have to email them for press credentials if you do it yourself, if the office doesn't do it at MD, uh, as in with Rami, he's good Big friends Ram, with Rami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, San Marino, he's amateur Little show. James. I mean, this guy is like he's. He's one of the like the big the big honchos, mm, mm. you know the 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 the, the boss men of mm. it, of Europe really in yeah. bodybuilding, yeah. pro shows, amateur shows, fantastic promoter. He actually owns um oh what's the name of the supplement company? It's a distribution company in San Marino, mm. and uh, yeah, he's a very very uh, well respected key figure in in global bodybuilding really. Mm. So yeah, I just want to give him some, and also I hear he might be making a comeback next year. We shall see. Yeah, so I think he's, uh, I think by 69, I think he's referring to his age. So 31, so he'll be 49. So maybe he's going to do a Dexter and compete at 50. So yeah, mm. AJ, over to yours. My shout out oh, is... Oh, sorry, sorry, V Power. That's the name of his company. Yeah, big, di- huge supplement distribution company in Italy. So my shout out is to Yolanda Parson. Parsons. You know, I'm a big fan of South Africa. 22. She's from South Africa. She's 22. She competes in figure. Let's look at... Wow. Let's, yeah. Look at calves. So wow. Pre- press the pictures up. Look at the calves. So that's... I'm not sure uh, if when she's competing next. She wow. sent us a... Appreci- uh, not appreciation video. Very, she very sent- beautiful. Very beautiful lady. Yeah, of course, of course. She sent us a Olympia prediction video. And we some, t- some way we missed handle the video we didn't use it for oh, some okay, okay so that was a little disappointing let, let, let's look at her shape fantastic yeah so she competes in figure down there in south africa so hang on one of the pictures i saw she's looking more towards wellness and not that picture there so it's so much but a couple of pictures she's looking uh like her legs have grown considerably i'm thinking is she is she moving more towards wellness the new popular division i don't know her that well so i do not know okay but uh this is a girl to look out like uh, not only physique but markability and epic, epic eyebrows she got good eyebrows yeah very good eyebrows. they're not like too uh, plucked they're good <laughs> <laughs> Just so right. let's go to the stage go down and go to the left so you can see the stage yeah, there nice okay what the wow music- okay so what is oh, this she's good oh, this is figure this is not wellness bro she's really good this is figure physique isn't she's it really good Mm. Really good. Yeah, check her out. Go up so people can see her Instagram. So if yeah. they want to follow her, maybe there's some uh, guys out there want to follow her. She's good figure. Really, she's pro figure. Level. Yeah, I know. It's figure at 22. It's great. It's great to see talent. 22. Wow. Fantastic. All the way up, people can follow her at. They can follow her at. Say it for people who listen Fantastic. to iTunes. Yolandi Parsons. Let's bump up her followers, guys. Yolandi Parsons. Check her out. Fantastic. 22 years old. Got a lot of sponsors. Was that six sponsors? When you're when you're when you're an athlete and look good, you get sponsors. Yes, that's correct. who's your last shout out? Ah, it's one of my old friends. I've known him nine years. This is Dan Smith, IFBB Pro Dan Smith. Dan um, turned pro. He won the World Amateur Championships in wheelchair pro in the wheelchair amateur uh, uh, in Poland in 2010. He did his first pro show in 2011 at the Houston Pro. He came third to Harold Kelly. Oh, yeah, Harold Kelly won that one. He came third. Now. I've been given, I mean, I, and I actually, <laughs> I actually is gave that him? AJ, I gave him his nickname. Is that him? Do you know what I gave him his nickname a few years ago? Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Is that him? And I'll be honest, when I, no, that is him, yes. But I said it because he loves cars. Yeah. I was with some friends and we had a couple of glasses of wine and I was like, you need a nickname. You need a nickname. You're a bodybuilder now. You're a pro. And I said Hot Wheels. And obviously I didn't, I didn't mean it in bad taste. Well, but why I meant is that it. bad taste? He's got Hot Wheels. He's riding the, wheel, the wheelchair. Yes, but that's that. in UK that might be considered why bad taste. Why offensive? You have a wheelchair and it's hot. Well, 
Chris, is that offensive? Of course not. Okay, well, it's not, so I'm okay. I'm just letting myself yeah, off. Yeah. The hook. <laughs> but no, because um, he likes cars. Okay. But he's... Um, but yes, I was messaged because I speak to Dan quite regularly and I was a bit disappointed and I said, he was on holiday recently and I said, Dan, your cheeks are looking a bit chubby, mate. And he said, yeah. I said, you look, I said what's this? I said, you're full of, uh, full of beer and D-ball, I said. And he says, no, I've not even been training recently. So Dan... Beer and D-ball. I said, <laughs> I, <laughs> I said, Dan, will your ass back in the gym? I don't like fat friends. So yeah, loves bodybuilding, loves training. Uh, he's come up and stayed at my house before, actually. I think he just split up with his girlfriend at the time. So I said, come up for a weekend. And we did a video, actually. That was actually the day I found out I was diabetic. Mm. Yeah, his friend was That's Zach. Zach Calm there, yeah. Yeah, friend was Zach Calm. Zach Calm's got a good beard, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dan Smith. Great guy. So, Dan, I want to see you get your ass back in the gym. And we want to see you back up on a pro stage. So I think me, we'll have to get in contact with Harold Kelly and start bullying him a little bit. Get your ass back in the gym. Come on. Let's go. So I'm just saying for people at home, we had Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf. We have Alina Popa. Alina Popa. We have Kamal Agarni. <laughs> we have Oksana Krishna. Oksana Krishna. Let's go. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next week for MD Global Muscle Radio. And AJ. Musk development is on the mother effing rice. Let's go, lightweight baby. Thank you so much. And we are out.